There we go. It flashed twice at me as if it wasn't ready. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Wednesday Night Warfare. Wait, it isn't Wednesday. It is not Wednesday, and yet we are pretending to have Wednesday Night Warfare. Well, the reason was uh, my wife, who shows up on the chat from time to time, it was her birthday yesterday. And all sorts of awesome folks wished her a happy birthday, but I couldn't. I had to had to recognize, had to go out and infect that properly, so we did. So we're coming back on a Thursday. I hope you will forgive us. And and I also have to uh, say that we were we were driven to this game by regular viewer and friend of program John Stanley, who asked over a month and a half ago, surely you guys are going to do something for the Battle of Cowpens. And it is the original Grognard. How are you, man? Good to see you. Dalinar Ward. Dalinar Ward goes to the original Grognard. Awesome. The um and, and so we're we said he said, could you do the Battle of Cowpens? And I said, Yes, I could. We could. And I went out and I looked and I saw there's a lot. I'm a Napoleonicist, you all know that. And I love Napoleonic battles, and sometimes it's incredibly hard to find good detailed information. You American Revolutionary War people should be grateful. You have a lot of information about your battles and a lot of really cool scenarios. I found scenarios for, uh... hey, Wardrobe Plays World War II. Good evening and hello. There, there's a name. Uh... <laughs> and it's it, you have a lot of really, really wonderful scenarios to play. And I found it for Black Powder. I found it for Sharp Practice. I found it for... Um, Obviously, for some of the other purpose-built world uh, American Revolutionary War, but I found a really, really good set for a game system that I bought when it was new, when it was brand spanking new, and that is yes, John Stanley. You see, we said John Stanley's name three times, and he appeared, uh, and that was Frank Chadwick's Volley and Bayonet. Now, for those who don't know. Volley and Bayonet was really the first game that I'm aware of to say, you know what, we're not going to worry in this black powder era about columns, lines, and squares. We're not going to do it. We're instead going to set up brigades or larger formations because the assumption is the lower level commanders are going to handle those things. This was so, this made so many people crabby, I can't even tell you. But it also created a revolution, and it created other games like Sam Mustafa's Grand Armee, and of course the much loved by the Armchair Dragoons, uh, and, and this crew, uh, Blucher. So, this is the great great grandfather, the grandfather, whatever it might be. It's been through a number of different versions. The most recent being Volley and Bayonet: Road to Glory, and so we're going to try it tonight for Cowpens. I will also say that we're going to be using a modified version of it that was suggested by uh, Professor Jeff Glasgow. Uh, in the spirit of the uh, late Greg Novak, who I had the pleasure to meet, who's one of the authors of Volley and Bayonet, along with Frank Chadwick. And these were very specifically built because, as we well know, the battles of the American Revolutionary War were much smaller than those of the Napoleonic era, by and large. And so they had to work out a few different things. But that's just me talking, and I'm going to stop now. And I'm first going to say, let me get back in here, which, which one of these things is right. There we go. Welcome to the board. This is over here. On the American side, the Rebels, the Patriots, whatever you choose to call them, we have Mike, OJ's dad. How are you on a Thursday? I'm wonderful. It is great to have you here. And over here, hey, Red, there you are. I went looking. And over here on this side, we have playing the proud British, the uh, the, the jack boot of authoritarianism and everything, uh, or also you might say the loyalists. We have Velker. How are you, Velker? I'm well, playing the villains as usual. There you go. <laughs> Stuck in playing the role of the villain. Let's talk about how this game is going to be played, and I've got some... Actually, uh... actually I'll take exception to that, Velker, because if <laughs> we were playing a Napoleon battle, you'd be the good guys. Uh, that's that's true. That well, is true. Well, Dalinar always says the French are the good guys. Uh, see, now it's... Well, yeah, well, Dalinar's confused. Yeah, Dalinar's confusion on this subject runs straight through to his record, at least at the Battle of Leipzig. The, um, yeah. So let me uh, get in speaking. Hey, real quick, Jim. Yep. Before you get started. Yep. I like these trees. I, I moved a unit over here by by one of the trees. Uh huh. Uh huh. And you've got some. I mean, normally we have like little Napoleon battle small things, guys. but you've got you found some really nice tall trees that I think really kind of uh, 
give some more immersion Bailing. immersion to the to, to the feeling. You, we can make these candles bigger. However, I won't. So you feel so you feel out there. You feel out there in the in the woods of yeah. the eastern seaboard. Awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Glad to hear that. Uh, and in the spirit of Dalinar, you're doing a Twitter. I'm doing a Twitter. I make no promises that this is all going to be accurate. I'm going to turn this over when this video is done. I'm going to show it to our good friends. Uh, Death, it's, it is scale agnostic. It is, it is scale agnostic. It, is, um, it was originally written by Frank because he wanted to play with 54 millimeter soldiers. And he was one of the few guys that did. I see it mostly played with 25s or 15s. And you'll see why it's scale agnostic in a second. These soldiers are scaled to roughly uh, 28 millimeter. They're a little bigger than that. I like playing them big when we're like this, but we'll show you that in a second. But a great question. Um, and so we're, you know, we're... Did I get my tweet out? Did I get the tweet out? I can't. I, I can only do so many things at one time. Yeah, the, yeah, it went out, Jim. Awesome. Thank you. But yeah, no, I... Uh, oh, yeah, sure enough. And you liked it. That's awesome. Wow. Thanks so much. All right, so let's uh, let's talk about the game and, and how it works, how it plays, and why. One of the th and you're going to see a lot of differences from Blucher. One of the things is I think we'll find out this thing plays a lot faster. We're going to see how we do. Plus, this is a very small battle, even for the terms of the what's called the wing scale for volley and bayonet. What does a turn look like? The first thing we're going to do every turn, and by the way, we're always going to start. There's always going to be an attacker and a defender, and in this scenario, the British Velker here are the attacker. Okay. Really? Uh huh. I thought I was the defender. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to take a look, but I'm pretty sure that's so. Whoever's the active player, and you take turns, just like you would think. The first thing you got to do is you got to check are your units in command. Well, that's something a little bit different. In volley and bayonet, you have to be within a certain range of the individual that is your commander. So, in the case of the British, we have Lieutenant Colonel Bannister. Ugh. Bannister Tarleton, what a villain. He has a command range. Now this, by the way, this is a specialized rule set. In standard volley and bayonet, there is a standard six inch command distance. He's got to, he can command any unit within eight inches. All right. In addition, if a unit is within eight inches and is directly adjacent and touching another unit, that other unit is in command by what I always like to call the old grade school electricity. So we take a look, we say, oh, look at that. He's within six inches, but this unit is touching this unit, and therefore both are in command. In this system, in this wing system, in this American colonial system, we also have these fellows, unit commanders. They are only commanders of their local unit, and they are appropriately labeled. You can see that there. They command each of their fellows, so they can put them in command. Let's take a look over here on the American side because they've got a little bit, because Tarleton is the commander of his whole brigade. He's got the unit guys, but he's the guy over it all. On the American side, you have something a little more familiar to the Napoleonicist. You've got Brigadier General Daniel Morgan and his 10 inch range. But over here, you've got Eager Howard, Lieutenant Colonel John Eager Howard. He commands all these guys. Now he's got these fellows to help him. But all these guys are subordinate to him. All right. Same thing over here with Colonel Andrew Pickens. He commands all these guys. Plus, he's got these fellows to help him. But you only do so much. And finally, over here, you've got Cur Lieutenant Colonel William Washington. He commands these guys. What happens if you're out of command? Well, it says right there, you may not move towards a visible enemy. You may not become stationary, which is essentially... The same thing is prepared in Blucher. A little different, but it's essentially the same. And you cannot recover from disorder. So it's very, you know, it's a, you don't want to be out of command. So pay attention to it. What's next? Well, then the active player moves. Notice these move distances. Unless it says otherwise, the infantry is, it, the infantry is the same here as fast infantry. So it moves 16 inches. Pretty dramatic difference. Slow infantry goes 12 inches. Light cavalry and medium cavalry, that's all we have on the board, 24 inches. Well, wait a minute, what about all that terrain? Well, we flip the board over because I know that's where the terrain is hiding. 
and we see the big thing we're going to worry about here is forest. You'll notice that forest doubles movement times two. Okay, so you want to worry about that, but it also disorders formed troops. We'll talk about that in just a second. So instead of 24 inches, cavalry goes 12. That's a pretty dramatic distance. Charging. Oh, sorry. With respect to movement. Movement is straight ahead. You may make one facing change of any distance at the start, the end, or the middle of your turn. Wherever you like. Wherever you like. It doesn't matter. Make it as wherever you like. But you can only make one. And then you go pretty much straight. You may oblique up to 45 degrees. Is that right? Once you have, if you move, if you wish to change your facing again, that costs you half your movement. Or you may accept a voluntary disorder. I will note for OJ, these guys may not accept a voluntary disorder because they are, as is indicated, poorly trained. Can't do it. They can only do it by cutting half their movement, which is still pretty substantial. Charging has to be straight ahead. And here we're going to see something that is familiar to those of us who have played Blucher. You have to be able to see those troops you are charging at the start of your turn. Unlike Blucher, all distances, including command distances and shooting distances, are measured nearest point to nearest point. I am privileged to report I got that clarification from Ch Frank Chadwick himself on Facebook yesterday. So as I told him, that's pretty darned official. Charging is straight ahead. Oh, what about interpenetration? Usually you can interpenetrate in volley and bayonet. Unfortunately, because of the size of this scale, because of this scale level, the special rules we're playing under do not permit interpenetration. What? Yeah, no interpenetrating. It would cause, unless you want to cause disorder. And as Velker well knows, you don't want to cause disorder in this game. It's a very, very, very bad thing. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we want to we want to talk about movement. What about charging? Charging is straight ahead. You may not oblique when you charge. You just go on in and you boink the person just like there's no conforming. It's just like in Blucher. After all moving is done, after all Oh, you may not approach more than 1 inch, 1 inch away from any unit unless you are charging it. Uh, all these things there. Good. Then you may, during the movement phase, see this right here, rally any unit in contact with a corps or army commander may attempt to remove a temporary disorder. All right. After movement and after charges, we will conduct morale checks for all units that are in contact with each other or can shoot at each other to see if they want to stick around and continue to have the fight. And it's actually kind of easier to go over that. But suffice to say that when you look at the soldiers, you're going to see that they have two numbers, a two and a four. That four is their morale. Higher is better. Four is not good. And there are obviously consequences to that. Combat is going to be somewhat similar to Blucher. It's got some similarities, but it's got some pretty big differences. Not the least of which is that you roll a set number of dice depending on your unit type. It does not decrease with your strength. In a normal infantry unit, for example, fires only two dice. If, however, it is declared stationary, much like Blucher is prepared, it rolls more. You roll for sixes, for sixes. If you are shooting into trees, or if you're being meleeed by disordered troops, you get a saving roll against those things. Melee are here. 
You can see a fire and melee are right next to each other. You're looking for sixes. The only exception are sharpshooters who are looking for fives and sixes, as well as guns who are looking for fours, fives, and sixes. You will notice that morale checks happen after combat. It actually happened before combat, so that effect of combat doesn't take place until the next round. It's rather an interesting effect. One big thing I will tell you about morale, don't line up units behind one another. If you get routed through, it gets really bad really quick. One final thing I'll note about movement. Some of these units, not all, may skirmish. See these guys right here? This Maryland detachment you've got, Mike? It's a 3-5, which means it has 3 strength. It's fast infantry, 16 inches, and it can skirmish, which means I duplicate this guy 3 times, or it could put out 1. For every point you put out, obviously the main body is reduced. If you kick out all 3, you just got 3 skirmishers out. Skirmishers are obviously more flexible in their movement. The big deal with them is they don't get to turn. They just have no negative effects from wandering through trees. They are, however, obviously less effective in both fire and melee, rolling only their one die. You may... Re they, instead okay. of the two dice that yep. these guys roll, they only roll mm -hmm. one. In addition... If they are hit one time, they're gone. Gotcha. Every strength point that you take as a casualty comes off your divisional morale. You see the divisional morale here of Lieutenant, Cur Lieutenant Colonel John Eager Howard? He's got an exhaustion of seven. Every point you lose comes off that. If you get down to zero, that's a bad thing. And we'll go over what that is when it happens. But that's one of the ways you lose the game, is getting exhausted. So as you take damage, we're going to track that down. It's the same thing here with uh, Colonel Pickens. and it's just, Now, the deal here is Colonel William Washington, he only has an exhaustion of two. He doesn't exhaust the same way. That's different. Unlike what it says on this chart... Um, it was felt by the authors that cavalry was underpowered under the standard rules. These guys, the guys that have multiple strength points, two to four, two to four, I think again, or two to six, actually, that's much better cavalry. They have a strength of four dice in melee. They have no fire. And Velker, your guys, your skirmishers, they only have a strength of two as skirmishers. I don't think, yeah, these guys, they have a strength of four. So how do you win? Well, first of all, how are we going to set up and how do you win? We'll go through both questions. The Americans set up a, a northwest of their line and they set up first. Oh, the Americans do go first each turn. You were right. So... That line is right here, marked, as always, by candles. The Americans set up first. They set up, up anywhere up in here. The British, they set up second. And they set up on the other side of this line. Anywhere in here. I would go over road march, but given the way I think this is going to be set up, it probably won't be necessary. Before we dive in, can I answer any questions? All right, let me go through some qu Ooh, we have questions out here. You are welcome, John. Do you still shoot? Ye yes, you, uh, Death, this is different. You may shoot, and in fact, what a great thing to remind me of, Death, thank you. You may absolutely shoot when you move, and both sides shoot. Shooting is simultaneous, and it's against each other. We'll, we'll break up melees when they happen. Let's see. The Maryland contingent have skirmishers. Uh, I don't... Like I say, this is not my particular jam. This is why I fear you people. 
I really do, but let me verify that at least I am true to the OOB and I can ask, I happen to have a nice chat with the gentleman who created the scenario. I just want to make sure I didn't screw it out. Yeah, he gave them, he gave them the ability to skirmish. In fact, I, well, he gave them a 3-6 fast infantry skirmish. He gave them the ability. He shows them as the, Ma the Maryland Delaware Light Battalions, which he identifies as composed of Anderson's Company, 1st Maryland, Brooks Light Company, the 1st Maryland, Dobson's Company, 2nd Maryland, Kirkwood's Light Company, 2nd Maryland, and Lawson's Virginia Company, and Wallace's Virginia Company. This is what he doth say. Again, not, not my field, but at least I'm pleased that uh, the good professor is well-sourced. So, Mike, I put the burden on you, and we all know it's a learning game, so we won't hold you too accountable, but set it up. All right. <clears throat> and I want to say that was the most direct historical question I think we've ever been asked in a year and a half of uh, either Saturday Night Fights or Wednesday Night Warfare. Big points to you, DCB. Hey, we got 10 people watching. That's nice. Nice to have you all. Yeah, Mike seems to know what he's doing. Let's have a look. And obviously, if you want to break them into skirmishers, let me know and I'll make your duplicates. But Oh, yeah, uh, visibility. Well. Unlike our problems we had in Blucher, Mike, we are absolutely in a situation where we have a military crest. These are nice hills for that reason. If you're on this side of the military crest, you can be seen. If you're on the other side, you can't. So those guys right. are... On the good side of the crest, they're they're looking to shoot down that hill. Oh, how far is musketry range? Two inches, two inches. That is long range. AKA nowhere. Uh, <laughs> AKA no bloody wear. Uh, what is really two yeah. inches? Uh huh. Wow. It, I like it actually. About two hundred yards. Literally the whites of your eyes you can see. That's two hundred yards, which is a pretty good shot if you think about it. Uh, yeah. a, a, a smooth board. Where's my ranges? Where did all my ranges go? I thought he had put... This is a fellow... This is not the official one in any event. But this is... Uh, oh, there it is. Duh. Looking right at it. You are dealing with light guns. That's what Velker has. Closed range is four. Long range is eight. So yeah, mine don't go anywhere either. Yeah, eight inches... Not so much. Infantry move faster than that. I have pop guns. Let's see what OJ's up to. Uh, I'm just showing the folks at home. Which around. And this is a case for those who are wondering. I spent a lot of time poking around in different sets on Tabletop Simulator to try to do the best I could matching this to period uh, uniforms. I will not claim perfection. Some of these are quite good. Some of these are actually quite close. But we don't have anywhere near it with the American Revolution or the American Revolutionary War the sort of uniform strength we have in the Civil War, uh, medieval Napoleonics, things like that. Uh oh, I sense skulking. Men in the weeds. Men in the weeds. That that looks serious. Elker, why aren't you blindfolded? <laughs> <laughs> that is Triplet Farquhar, I'll have you know. I love that name. We lost it. You know, when's the last time you bumped into a triplet at a bar? That's his name. His name is Trip. Oh, it's Triplets. Sorry, it's Triplets Farquhar County. And by the way, if anybody's from this county and I'm pronouncing it wrong, I am sorry. Farquhar. Farquhar. Farqu Farquhar. 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 Could that be it? Got to get somebody from that part of the world. And that's exactly right. They are they are, they are grasshopper guns. That's exactly what they are. Uh, John Stanley points out those are not pop guns, but grasshoppers. Oh, I, I do apologize. <laughs> I have apologized to all the guns I have offended. Uh, it would seem that Mike has decided that you want a greeting party. A greeting party? Oh, I'm so excited.
Hello, Daniel. Good to see you, man. Okay. So, Jim Morgan just has to be... Who has to be within his 10 inches? He can Anders, command anybody that... in the army. Okay. It's just, it's okay. just like so you he... figure. Howard can only command his men. Right. Gotcha. But but the subcommanders don't have to be within range of... of no, correct. correct. They can okay. go off on All their right. own. They're assumed to be annoying and what then, their commander wants to do. And then the skirmishers just stay off the board for now, correct? You're right, unless you break into skirmish order. Correct. Right. The one thing okay. that these... Unit commanders cannot do, it should be noted, not that it matters for these guys, probably, uh, is they cannot rally. Okay. Only the divisional commanders can rally, or the army commander. There's right. a lot of skirmishers in those weeds. There are. Hey, you're going to stay out of them anyways, I'm sure. Yeah, with formed British troops. Wandering around in the trees strikes me as bad plan A. Yes, bad plan B is running around with skirmishers in the open. <laughs> That's not wrong. Aha! I found the ways of this game already. Oh, you surrendered? Uh, well, they didn't have reason to deploy skirmishers, DCP, but did they? Did they have them? Ah, there. Ooh. Okay. Well I set. think I'm pretty well set. All yep. Right. Velker, hit it. Marsh Negative. Or Tarleton. Tarleton, that's right. All right. He, he likes the farm. Yeah. He likes to have a farm. Uh, I've done some of this. Oh, I have the 71st Highlanders. Oh, yes, you do. Complete in their trues. And for what it's worth, this is a, a rework of an older scenario that the professor had. And how are cavalry affected by trees again? Disordered. Disordered. Well, as long as they're formed. I would. I need some skirmisher multiplication. Oh, you're going out. You're, you're skirmishing somebody. Both of these guys. All right. So what are they? Twos. Yeah. Three. You are multiplied. Okay. These guys decide. Yeah, they stay there. And don't forget Captain Rosalette. Of course. Do not forget him. I do not forget Rousselet. Oh no. Oh no, Yeah, V&B had a following because, as I say, it was revolutionary at the time. I just haven't had a chance to dive back into it. And this struck me as such a nice small battle that uh, I think it can get resolved out pretty quickly. I think that's kind of the point. Uh, I, I think it is kind of the point that you are cramped in there. Sounds like you're kidnapping me or something. <laughs> 
You are in that trunk and be comfortable. Probably cramped in there for a reason, yeah. And remember, it's edge to edge, so it's a little more generous. I don't know, but still, geez. The, uh, I actually saw an interesting article about Valiant Bayonet that said that the primary purpose of it was to allow Frank to run big Napoleonic battles at conventions. And I went, well, wait a minute. <laughs> well, that's, wait. that's kind of my favorite thing. So wait, are these guys formed? Do these guys count as formed? How do I know if they're... Uh, they are not formed. They are in, it's the bases they're on. They are skirmishers. Okie dokie. That's what they need to know. What's a convention? <laughs> is that something we used to go to? Did we do that? Is that, is that... Was that a thing? Is that the past? Is that the past? That, that's a good way to put it. Is that the past? I'm assuming these guys are unlimbered. <laughs> but I think, uh, uh, or are limbered, I should say. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna make limbered markers. That's what I'm gonna do. All right. I think my guys are all set up. Dig it. We don't even roll for initiative. We know who's got it. Americans. So again, running through the sequence of play, we check. We would check command. Well, we can see that these guys are easily within three inches. Uh, but are they within main guys? They no no. It doesn't work that way. It's just. It's they have to be under a commander to whom they are subordinated. Not. They don't have to be all connected. Correct. What? Yeah, I. Oh, go ahead and reset then. What? Go, go, go ahead and don't oh, don't fuss. Okay. Just reset. No, go ahead. I, We're I learning. Just to, just to just to just yeah, to yeah no 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 go to the to this guy go to the rule. Okay. All stands with our which are within their command distance of a command stand to which they are subordinated are in command. Well, then, I thought that Tarleton had to be connected to no, Fraser no, no. and Fraser. No, no, no. I see. I see what you were concerned about. Yeah, you've got more flexibility. That's why I thought I was so cramped. Got it. I was like, I can't go anywhere. Okay. What, um, What's that? what are these units still back here on the table? You didn't deploy. Uh, there are some there that he has yeah, remembered, that he's he's skirmishers. deployed them as skirmishers. So, uh, he, okay. so he doesn't get yep. them as formed troops. I mean, if you'll give them to me, I'll take them. That is absolutely right. Our tables are always filled with painted minis. It's true. I, I remember the one time a guy came. This is the club that I started out in back in 1983. Uh, I remember somebody proposing that he be allowed to bring unpainted minis while he was working on it. You would have thought he had pooped on the table. I swear. <laughs> And this was when your standard buy-in for a Napoleonic army was 2,000 figs. All right, I'm set up again. You're groovy? I think I'm good. All right, so once let's take a look what you did there. All right, that's cool. Actually, I should get an overall shot of the table, shouldn't I? Yeah, overall shot. Overall shot of the table. Woo! And now the drama shot. Drama shot down here of Tarleton being greeted by those very, very... Well, that's not Tarleton, but Fraser Being greeted by those very friendly men of the... Uh, Maryland detachment. Excellent. Look at that. Look how nice that looks. Look, even with their trues. I love it. Anyway, um, so Mike, we've already been going through that. This fella looks plenty in look at that. How great is that? And there's Morgan himself. So you're you're good on command. So now it's up to you to move. Away you go. Alright. I think we'll start here with the uh Hammond, South Carolina State Company here. Go nuts. Well, we see them, and they tell us that they are fast infantry, 16 inches. But I don't have to go the whole 16. You correct? sure don't. And if I go into the woods, it's half. It's doubled. Correct? It's no. every inch costs two. Right. I'll do it this way first. There's sure. two, so I got 14. 14 left. to go, so you got seven inches into them trees. One nice thing that this has absolutely Actually, all over the tabletop is the fact that uh, the trees are permeable. You don't have to move them. 
I think we'll just leave him right there at the crest of the hill at the edge of the woods. All right. Chicken! Crest of the hill, of, and, the, and apparently Volker refers to them as cowards. We'll, we'll get him over there to the crest. Yeah, that's all right. There you go. Look at Last the man standing on the battlefield is the winner. Look at the skirmish. Anybody else? No. I think we'll refer to Volker. Oh, it looks like he's going to give... Oh, yeah. Well, here's the way this works. And this is this will give you an idea of the term sequence. Sequence. Sequence? I don't know what that is. Sequence. The next thing we would do is check morale, but nobody is close enough. Nobody's in contact. Nobody's in range, so we don't have to check anybody's morale. The next thing we do after that is combat. Well, we don't have any of that going on. We'd have rally there, too, before morale. And then we would uh, then we would go just check exhaustion. we got none of that. So now it's Velker's turn. So what we have to do for Velker's turn is the same thing. We check his... And by the way, this is a term-limited turn limited game. It only goes 16 turns. I have no idea how long it'll go or whatever. Reg Worth, good to see you. Good to see you. Hey, open bar. Hey, who, who said open bar? <laughs> the, um... Yeah, the, I, I didn't realize that. Jeez, let's get it done. Uh, but in any event, so Velker, I'm looking around, and I don't see anybody that concerns me as to your command. Yeah. Left wing British converged. Is that Fraser? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, you're good. You're into movement right now. Go for it. I'm going to start with this cavalry. All right. Well, that's, ca well, that's cavalry. That's, uh, that's a big in the woods. That is, t what, 13 inches. And again, it's skirmishing cavalry, so it has no effect on its uh, movement. Oh, you're just going to do it, huh? Yep. All right. Yep. Uh, you up now. Go back. How far were you? I was, I was within 13. Yeah, you were within 13. You can't see them. One thing I forgot to mention, and it's okay. You can take it all back. Go back 13. This forests do block line of sight, but because of the scale, it's 8 inches. You can see 8 inches in the woods and into the woods. Okay. So you can't see him. <laughs> He's setting that good example Go again. Go ahead. Come all ten inches. Remember his musketry range is only two. Although he does have sharpshooters. Well he can move and shoot is what I'm scared of. Skirmish Cav. Oh no, I, I absolutely I, I can't I, I can't handle it. I can't handle it, grumbling. Can't handle it. Paint your figs, please, please, please. Alright, so those guys are all moved. Got it. These skirmishers over here, I believe. Oh, they're not. Interesting. They can't melee him, but they're close enough to shoot him. They got, uh, that's, are they fast? Yeah, so they've got eight inches of move. So they moved one inch. Mm-hmm. Well, it looks like we're going to start shooting at each other. <laughs> you can oblique. I can. Yeah, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Mm-hmm. That's done. I'll move these light infantry up here. Very good. They are fast, so that in that situation, they've got to move a 16. Doesn't seem like you want to move them that far, but okay. I sure don't. And then these guys... Then I'll move my guns. Creak, squeaky, squeaky, squeaky. How far do they move? You would ask me a difficult question like that. That is limbered artillery. 16 inches. 16 inches. Wow. Alright. I, I picked him up, though. What? What the? What's the matter? I don't know if I'm lagging, but it's... Okay, now it's working. Now it's supposed to be working. Okay. Mm -hmm. It was just... It was, it was being weird. That's all. I get it's it. It's all good now, though.
Yeah, you're right, Mike. These are good trees. <laughs> I, I, I don't pr appreciate that yeah. enough. You, you know, be... especially if you uh, come all the way down to the table and come on with a side view. I mean, uh -huh. it just it just adds scale to it. Yeah. Makes it feel real good. That's the right term to use. I agree. Especially with uh, Vilker's Otter. You know, you come down here where I'm at, <laughs> down the road past the British, and you see Vilker's giant otter getting ready to eat the British. You have a terrifying otter. <laughs> Right in my headset. Not grateful. <laughs> are, are, are you wearing your uh, Oculus while you're playing tonight? No, he is not in no, fact not. Oculus. Should I? Should I sometimes? Yeah, not right now. But are you? Right. Are you? Are you set? Right. Are you I'm done? not. Okay. Actually, these right. guys. Uh, is this an obstacle? Uh, it is. It's treated like a small village, um, and if you, it's a wooden. It's actually treated as a wooden village. I like the fact. I love the fact. In fact. That Volume Bayonet characterizes between two different types of village, wooden and stone. And so we see here movement, no effect. Okay. Uh, I'm going to get a flip. All right, I'm done. All right, let's have some... Uh, now we get some morale checks. All right, so please go to your dice, gentlemen. Uh, we'll take a look at these modifiers. The first that I see are these two guys right here. They clearly are able to be in range of each other. We've got... Uh, looks like a five there. And that looks like a five there. So two fives. Let's take a look at the modifiers. They're pretty basic. Um, flip side, please... Uh, they're not one of the big ones. They're not disordered. Uh, there, this is not a question of defending anything. They're not. There's no flanking anything like that. It all seems uh, skirmishers are not being attacked by close order troops. So yeah, I think we're good. Uh, yeah, that's it. So uh, what we'll do is we'll check both ways. Velker, let's check for this left wing British Legion infantry. Need a five. Who right there? Mike, why don't we check for Triplet Farquhar's County Virginia Rifleman? They're good. Now we check over here at these fellas, Velker. Oh! That means they catch a disorder. Is it permanent? No. It is one of the temporary yellow disorders. Uh, but that uh, that does cat. that does affect them in yeah, yeah. yeah. Scaredy cat indeed. Uh, so Mike checked over there, and I think that's it for him. So actually, oh, oh I rolled. That's that's uh, no, because I had, is I he, had two units to. You rolled for both, I thought. No, 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 I only rolled oh, for one. Oh well, then Velker rolled the that, six. There it is. All right. He's disordered too. He is disordered too. Velker, Velker has two got more. Two more, and I think does Mike have another? Is that in range? No, no, no he's only got. Oh, I see. Oh, it might be. I think they both yeah. are. Yep, they are in range of each other. So they will okay. they will probably shoot at one another. So uh, Velker, you check this guy. I have not. He's fine. Check the guy next to him. And you're all both. I fine. passed mine Great. too. Yeah. All right, now we shoot at each other because I think that's the only people that got close enough, right? I think. So. Yep. Yeah. I do believe. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a peek at the uh, combat rolls. Small arms, two inches, and then we find out that this is an infantry skirmisher, which means it gets one die. You notice that it hits on a six, except we go down here at the dagger and it says sharpshooters hit on a five or a six. However, uh, they this is a skirmisher fire. This, this is fire, I should say, inside the trees. Um... I thought for certain there was a saving throw for fire and trees. One moment, please. Because there's going to be a whole lot of tree yeah, shooting. I'm sure there was. I think you're right. There was, this is going to be a whole lot of tree shooting, so i got to check. Uh, da, 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 breakthrough, cavalry. Uh, skirmishers, nope. Saving throws, there we are. Buildings, forest. 
All infantry and forest make a saving throw on each count. Yeah. By fire. Not by melee, but by fire. That's what I thought. It's missing from that nice table. All right, Velker, let's uh, have you go first, I guess. Um, so it is... Oh, that's right. It is actually up to you to determine who's firing at who, and he then gets to respond to that fire. So this guy's going to shoot here, I imagine? You get 1d6. You are not you are not uh, a sharpshooter, so you get uh, you have to hit on a 6. Yes! Ooh. That, that kills him. Pew, pew! That is a kill, which means uh, Farquhar's, he's in Howard's division. Where's my guy Howard? I gotta go over here to him. And I'm just gonna mark it down that way so we can see how it tracks downwards. I just want to make sure. I'm gonna make a hundred. This is this is the first time this has come up this way. Are you okay? You blew raspberries earlier. You oh, I see. I, I get it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> I thought maybe he had too much Mexican for dinner. <laughs> oh, I want to hear too much Mexican. Here we go. <laughs> Wow, this is really improved quality stuff right here. <laughs> High quality. I'm sure his mother is very him. proud of him. I'm sure your mother's proud of you right now. Oh, yes. I. Oh, did you not know this? I am a connoisseur of body farting. <laughs> I can do it with my hands, my armpits, my mouth, my knees, my neck. He is a teenager. And with my bottom. A defending stand in a combat is allowed to fire at an enemy which fired at it. It's within range and it's the firing arc. That's what I wanted. All right. So, Velker, you do get to, or uh, sorry, Mike, you do get to shoot back. Oh. Right here at him. Oh. Uh, you have uh, sharpshooters, so one die for a five or a six. Don't do it. Nope. Uh, you miss. Velker, you're next. Who do you want to go? Disordered guy on that guy. Yeah, disorder does not affect firing ability, so one die for a six. Oh, and I can't believe I forgot this, too. Oh, oh, he's not a star shooter. No, he's not. I forgot this, too. Mike, that's fire in trees, which I went to the trouble of looking up. Please roll one die on a one, two, three, it hits. On a four, five, six, you block it, essentially. And you do, so you're back. No! So he's back. So he shot there and missed. Mike, obviously he's going to shoot you from multiple spots. You can only respond once. To whom are you going to respond? Um, to that disordered unit. All right. So that's, you are, again, a sharpshooter. Uh, five or six. One die. Got him. Got him. Velker, roll one die for the saving roll. Oh. oh and he does not save. Man, that was bad. Oh. All right, so hey, I gotta Jim, give, I'm going to give Howard his. Uh, you're going to give it back. Okay, point back. that's cool. Yep. And he belongs to uh, the right wing British Legion Infantry. Oh, that's right. You were. I only have one. Guy. Yeah, you're all one guy. That's the thing. Carleton, but he's got seventeen. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing with him. He's got one ginormous brigade. Oh, that comes off of Tarleton. Tarleton, himself. yeah, okay. he's only got one unit yep. essentially. Okay, yep. Uh, right wing British Legion Infantry Valkyr fire for a six. Mm -hmm. no. Now you have a choice. You can shoot here. Yeah, I'm going to shoot at the same guy. Yeah, because then this guy won't get a shot back. Six. Yes! Mike, try to save it. Come on. Or he does. Come on! Saves. Uh, okay. Was there any other... I hit twice. Uh. Was there any other fire or melee? I didn't... Oh, yes. No, those guys didn't come out. That, that'll teach you to make inappropriate sounds. <laughs> Is that the inappropriate sound lesson? Very good. Yes. Okay. Let me get a... Uh, I'm going to bring that was, in a... That was not my intention. I'm going to bring in a, a turn counter. <laughs> Give me one second. Believe me. Oh, Where'd it go? There, I need tools. Counter. 
can't believe I forgot this. All right, that is turn one. This is now turn two. Why are all of my Everybody? structures impaled in the back of the head? I don't know. Because they were snug. All right, so this guy is dead, so he's off. Uh, anybody else? Anybody else? I don't see it. Okay, nope. Mike, uh, it is your turn to uh, first do your command distances. Can't imagine anything's changed. Nope, nothing's changed. All right, so and now it's your there. turn to move. <laughs> you cannot charge him, but you certainly can shoot at him. That's right. Him it shoots you. You got to stop it one inch out. But that's that's you're you're basically there. That's fine. Okay. This this guy needs to be moved. That guy's gonna get himself. Yeah, this guy he's not he's within an inch. Yeah. Are you okay? No, <laughs> I'm not okay. Cause I got two sixes and neither of them counted because Bush. <laughs> because what? Bush. Bush. Uh, those look more like trees. Boosh. <laughs> hey, Ron. Well, that's true. It is Charlton's Legion, so that's 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 true. All right. So, Jim, can I do this with my skirmishers here? Let's see. Absolutely not. What you're gonna want to yeah. no, you would put them back. You got to move them individually. Yep. Move them individually. Gotcha. Gotcha. You get. You get uh, you get that, that, that face change and then do it. Can I just sidestep three inches or six inches? You can't whatever? sidestep. Nope. You go straight ahead. You okay. can oblique and you can make a facing change, but you cannot sidestep. I can only make one facing change. Correct. All right. Which actually he doesn't need to do anything because he's got a shot, right? Oh, yeah. He can shoot. Yeah. So he doesn't actually have to move. Okay. I'm just looking here at some measurements and so forth. Sure. What's... Would they have line of sight through the trees then? Into yeah, that eight inches. Unit? Eight inches. Yep. Okay. Am I the Red Wing British Converged Light Infantry? Did I make it Red Wing? Yeah. I may have to fix that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jim, he yep. just has to go from center, from base to base, right? Base to base, For not command. the... No, just edge to edge. Edge to edge. Closest point to closest Edge to edge, yep, right. Yep. No, no, and that's fine. I was just double-checking before I... Sure. ...released that. Always poking so the skirmishers speak. out of the trees to shoot you. Right, yeah, well, I, I wasn't, I didn't have an overhead view on him, so I was just, I was down at the angle there, so I couldn't see too well. There we go. All right, so those skirmishers are in place. Move those. Did you say that we can pass one unit through another? You cannot. Kind of problem, or we cannot. We you cannot. cannot. Okay. In the main game, you can, but because of this scale, you can't without disordering. Yep, no problem. Just because you're literally passing files at this point. Yep. I use the force to push you back. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's it for now. All right. Who's within? Actually, hang on. Oh, sorry. I uh, can't go straight backwards, right? You have to you can only go forward. Nope. So never mind. Right. Nope. I'm good. Marked all, the places. all right. So I'm looking over here. Yeah, that looks. Is that in range? Is that two inches? It is. Looks like they'll be shooting at each is, other. Is this guy? Is this one's not. No, he's just out of range. So it's this it guy here. Like. Yeah. Right. 
All right, so uh, I will have, I guess, well, since you moved in, Mike, I'll have you test. Uh, that is, that's a, yeah, you just got to roll. Anything but a six, you're fine. Six, 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 six. Four. You're right. Velker, for four, you, four, anything four. but a, yeah, you can't fail. I cannot fail. Because you have no you. modifiers. Ah. There are no modifiers. Okay. Where else did you see it, Velker? Over here? Uh, over in the weeds again. Oh, as this stuff is going on. Now we have some negatives going on. That's what causes this stuff. So we'll start with uh, Mike over here since it was his turn. Uh, he's got no negatives yet there. So that's anything but a six. Two. He's fine. Velker here. Anything but a, f anything but a six. Fine. Come over here to you, Mike. Now this guy, this is anything but a five or a six. Because he's disordered. One. He's fine. Anything but a six, I think, Felker. Yep. Oh. Ah, uh, do I get a saving throw because I'm in the weeds? Negative. What? Another but he one, does. Another one hit. No, he doesn't because yeah, he he, does. this, that's for shooting. Uh, Anything but a six for this guy? He's fine. Anything but a six for this guy? This is you. Felker, did you roll a six? He rolled oh, one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shush. Four. All right, that's it. That's it, I think. Yeah. All right, Mike, call your shots. Where are they? All right. Uh... All right. Uh, you need five or six? Five. Ooh, Velker save. So now I get a save. Huh? And it doesn't work. Ooh, that's another ah! one. <laughs> Now he does. Does he still get to shoot then? He does. He does. Yes. Yep. No. No. I, that's what I thought. I was just. Yeah. That was his. I didn't so, want to. I didn't want to miss that horn. Yep, yep. So Velker back on the six. Nope. Mike, your next shot. Uh. I have to move around the board quite a bit, getting from one spot to the other. So yeah, my I disrupted against his disrupted. Not the better shooters. Right. So that's. Uh, eh. That's uh, another shot for a five or a six. One. Nope. Velker back on a six. Nope. Nothing there. Okay. Do you want to take this shot, Mike? Yep. Okay. Uh, is he a sharpshooter too? I think he is. so. Yep. Five or six. Ah, almost had the six there. Just Velker four. on a six. Yeah. Mike Ooh. saved four, five, six. Oh, saved Four. it. Come on! He has saved everyone. Come on! All right, Mike, you want this shot? Yep. That's a uh, five, That's a six. Five or six. Sharp now, shooter. is that a flank shot? No. You'd have to be fully on the flank. Okay. you got to be behind that front line all the way. Okay. That's a good question. One. Miss. He comes back. Now, he's going to roll two dice for a six. I rolled one. Oh, roll, 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 another, so roll another one. So you peppered those trees to no effect. Oh, that, that five was so close. It, mm. It's out of the six. It just barely rolled on the front. Anybody else? Is that it? Uh, Over here, the other side. with the. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These guys that don't get to shoot back. They don't? No, they're horses. They don't, they don't have well, They have guns in their hands. Yeah, Look at that's, them. That's, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Look Each of my infantry units are just going to shoot the uh, horse unit straight in front of them. Nothing okay. fancy there. So let's start over here, I guess. Uh, we'll start yep, there. Fine. There, Those are sharpshooters again for Come six. Why five or six. Sharpshooters? Five or six. Why did we send all the skilled guys to America? <laughs> <laughs> Fair question. Why, it, why, why, why did they send all the prisoners to Australia and stay in England? Right. Another... another uh, <laughs> Five or a six? Nope. Three. Five or six. Six. Five. Save on a four or five, six. Please, for once in your life, horses. Come on! Okay. The, uh... <laughs> that a, one, I think. That's a kill, yep. Yep. And he does not get a shoot back. No. <laughs> <laughs> you suck. <laughs> 
You've been officially declared to suck. Oh, those skirmishers in the trees are working murder. Oh. All right. Imagine that. History repeating itself. <laughs> uh, is that it, Mike? You good? I'm good. All right. <laughs> these were... Yeah, well, uh, the these rules would generally work for anything with this smaller scale. Uh, all right, Velker, you're up. You're at the bat. Go. Uh, is your... I can't imagine your command ranges are out. No, I didn't think so. I wouldn't believe so. Okay, I'm looking, I'm looking. Yeah, see, you got commanders everywhere. That's good. Okay. And you got nobody to rally these dudes, unfortunately. Okay, so uh, you're up in movement. Movement is ready. I knew you were doing that. <laughs> How did I know? Now, this actually has a very particular uh, charge by skirmish cavalry. Hey, while Velker's making his moves, I'll be right back. All right, they melee normal. That's Those are his skirmishers, right? They melee normally. So how did you square them up? Pretty much just squared off at them. Got it. So this guy is going to get to shoot here. Yeah. He's going to get to help. Not much I can do like that. Yeah, because of what he did before, sure. But that's still going to be nasty, because that's going to be two to one, I think. <laughs> is that so <laughs> how you doing you gonna shoot him or me lamb shoot all right back he's chosen to melee you so i woke up and chose violence <laughs> where does that come from it's a lot of memes is that his, yeah. his mother com comes from his mother's side of the family that's the, oh this i believe you've never met my mother-in-law i'm kidding i like my mother-in-law <laughs> i am kidding Welcome, make sure your mother fears that yeah okay? i'm a dead man <laughs> no she's a very nice woman mom my, oh boy <laughs> mom Dad's talking bad about Grammy again. I ain't no snitch. I ain't no snitch. That's funny. Don't worry, never mind. <laughs> I do say that now. Why'd you ask? Holy cats, I just realized what you did. Oh, wow. As you said, this game moves fast. Miss a little, miss a lot. No joke. All right, I'm done. Morale checks. Let's start in the trees again. I forgot to. Can I rally? No, you can't rally without your... The only guy that can rally is Tarleton. Oh. These UC guys can't rally. Uh, well, we'll start with... Uh, I guess we'll start with Mike, because he's in range. So we'll start with this guy right here, Mike. Anything but a six? One. He's fine. Anything but a five or a six, Mike? One. Hey, Velker, anything but a five or a six? Anything but a five or a six? Or anything but a six, I'm sorry. Me again? Yeah, it's you. Sorry, Velker. 
fine. And Mike, anything but a f anything but a six. These are good morale. All right, now this is fun. Uh, <laughs> make sure there's no morale effects from being faced off by an entire freaking wing of a of a regiment. Um, suspect not. I think that's about it. Non-secure cav infantry meleeed by cavalry. We'll have to take a look if that counts for skirmishers too. Um. Okay, so let's check some uh, morales. Gilmore's Rockbridge Virginia Rifleman. Mike, anything but a six. Three. Velker Red Wing. The the Red Wing. I did say that, didn't I? Gosh. Yeah, they're fine, and they're fine. Now the Buchanan's Augusta Rifleman. Anything but a six, Mike. I'm sorry, did you say for me? Yeah, anything but a six. Buchanan's Augusta Rifleman. His guys are so high morale uh, at this stage, they can't, they can't be bounced. You're fine. Uh, these guys, whoever, Velker, can be. Are they in range? Are they, oh, are they? I thought you had put them. No. So, yeah, they're not. Okay. No shooting here. All right, let's see. Here we go. Very good. Um, this guy's actually out because he can't be shot at. Uh, so this guy has to check. Ogilvy's troop, anything but a six. Now, Mike, you check. Anything but a six. Mike, we'll bring it around to you again. Anything but a six. Ooh. And Velker, anything but a six. Everybody's fine. All right, Velker, where do you want to start the attacks? Let's start with these skirmishes in the trees. Start with that nonsense again. And we played it the other way last time, so I'm not going to change it now. But defenders do get to shoot, even if they're not shot at. So we'll play it sauce for the goose this way, but then starting next turn, defenders get to shoot, okay. even if not shot at. So, uh, Velk, you're going to shoot there for a uh, six. One for a six. Yeah. Got him. Mike for the save. Got Missed. him. Finally. All right. So, I got a kill. And my so shot, I hit him too. Yeah, you hit him back. Velk, do you save? You do not. Okay, so that's one down each way. Uh, what do you call is... that, Velker? Howard. Mutual destruction? No, that's right. Yeah, equal. No, that's equivalent exchange. Oh, that's right. Equivalent exchange. He's down to six. That's actually a, a hairy thing for them. For what? For who? For uh, Howard. Where's Tarleton? There he is. Oh, okay. That guy that you just killed, Velker, uh -huh. he's in Howard's division. Mm -hmm. He's now dropped to six. I thought... Wasn't he on another guy, or am I crazy? No, he's, he works for Tarleton. I actually have it nicely labeled. I'm rather proud of myself that way. Because I thought I had gotten a casualty earlier. You didn't, remember? He saved that guy? Oh, that's right, that's right. All right, so there's nobody for him to shoot. So this guy shoots there for a six? Oh, so close. Back for a five or six? So close. I'm getting there. Uh -huh. Five. Oh, save it? No way. Man, dude, wow. Or not. He cannot. I said no way. It's I called it. I know you did. I'm, I'm impressed. That was rough. Carlton's down to 12. Um, okay, so we keep moving. Oh, where do you want to go next, Walker? Here? Uh, I, those are all my guys in the trees. Yeah, I'm saying, where do you want to go for the... What do? Where do you want to... Huh? He still, he still hangs out here. He wasn't attached to anybody. He still belongs to these guys. He's what? still with them. You need them. No. no oh, are no, you guys... That's my unit. This guy's alone now. 
it, you, you can't hurt him. He's troops. he's he's pretty pointless. You you can might as well take him off. Actually, there's nothing he can do. Unless I can use him for a boost or something. You can't. That's the thing. He's only good for those guys, so he's gonna scamper away. He doesn't go to Velkerheim. He, yeah, he he does not go to Velkerheim. The only way you go to Velkerheim is if you're attached during an unfortunate uh, melee situation. Well, right. then again, I guess if you're British, you wouldn't anyways. So there you go, Velker How I suppose. So where do you want to do here? The Red Wings. <laughs> the Red Wings two for six. Nothing. Uh, they can come back. Uh, one for one for five or six. Nope. Okay. The other guy. Same deal. Two for six. Ah. And one for five or six. No. Nope. A lot of ineffectual fire there. I'll say. Nothing there. And your melee now. Yes, please. Which one do you want? Hey, real, yes, sir. Real quick question. Uh -huh. Only because I'm thinking about it. So Velker moved up this Captain Sanford, right? Yes. With the light dragoon. Can he take command of these infantry? Uh, no. No, he only okay. commands the British Legion light dragoons. Oh. Okay. Wait, wait. then where's my guy? Okay, because I thought that this, that guy was... Oh, no, there. you better find him. I, yeah, well, you, you know you would have been moving him. That's crazy. He's right, 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 right. Where'd he go? What did you do with... Uh... Tarleton's right here. No, the 71st Highlanders have a commander. What did you do with him? Where did he go? <laughs> Where did he escape? How did you get him that lost? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Wait, the ultimate search, the highlighter. I just highlighted everyone within the Did story. you just throw him? You didn't delete him by accident, did you? I can't delete anyone. Oh, that's right. <laughs> All right, for now, just for the sake of the debate, Oh, there he is. Oh, right there. That's him? Yeah. Oh. There he is. Ah. Oh, I saw him. I... Yeah, it's like... I saw oh, he's unit commander. I guess I saw the major, and I was thinking that wasn't... Uh... Yeah, no, he's the... he's, And all he is is a unit commander. It's just, it's just intended to keep the tactics together at this very small scale. That was weird. Right. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so which melee did you want, V? The one where you can't no, quite help? One. This one on this one. Yeah, so that's, that is... Uh... All right, let's talk a little bit. Of... Melee is a bit different. Um, he's going to roll two dice. You with your skirmishers are going to roll one die. Uh, you don't get a saving throw this time. There's no saving throw. Mm -mm. Uh, the target number is six and six. I'm fairly certain. Yeah, it's six and six. Uh, dedicated gun, target receiver. No, no, no. No, no. All right. So it's 2d6 for Velker, 1d6 for you, Mike, and you are looking, you are all looking for sixes. <laughs> Nobody got nothing. Okay. He has one die. Got a total of high. It is one by the side. It's, now, you did tie. As a result of the tie, you do now have to roll a single die. Um, stationary or cavalry secure infantry. Nope. So, nope. Uh, Non-flank secured infantry versus... Yes, there it is, minus two. So, Mike, you're going to be at a minus two here. So, Velker, it's a one... You're both rolling a 1d6, but Mike has a minus two. What do I need to roll, then? What, just a 1d6. Higher is better. A three? Yes! That's so, a one. So, no Velker, Velker is adjudged to have won the combat. Uh, now, let me see what the consequences thereof are. That's a... Well, that's sort of those new wrinkle things. Not saving throws, for heaven's sake. Uh, fire com melee combat, there we go. Yes. Good. That's what I thought. Mike, you are disordered and retreat one half your move away from Velker. Good day, sir. And it was a center one? No, it was this one over here. It was this one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so one half my turn? Mm -hmm. One half your move. Those are fast, so eight inches. 
That's a lot of issues. Mm -hmm. about that and you are disordered yep, no problem. so wait is this ogilvy or ogilvy ogilvy okay then this guy's name is wrong did i do it wrong this this guy right here ogilvy oh yeah i probably did ogilvy see this is this is why we do this i have to check myself this is a little different in this melee velker still gets his two but mike gets not just his one here but he also gets to shoot so we're gonna, we obviously uh, we have to do it a little bit separately because these are sharpshooters shooting into a melee. So Velker, roll your two dice. Yeah. That's a hit. Mike, roll your one die. Not a hit. Nope. Now roll your other die. Nope. Oh, so yes. Velker, this this means this guy loses. And is killed. Uh, this guy, this is no effect. He can stand right there. In both cases, Velker, you may take the space. Do I get breakthrough? Let's look up that cavalry breakthrough. Because there is cavalry breakthrough in Volley and Bayonet. Uh, I updated Pickens. Uh, oh, you, you cut him down? Shit. It's not Pickens. Yep. It's, is, is he in, yeah. Oh, that's right. He is in Pickens division. Yeah, You're right. Pickles. Thank yeah. you. Sorry about that. Da, 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 da. Cavalry breakthrough. Close order cavalry only. So no, you may not. You may advance. Okay. And you have. I see that. So that was a that was a win for you. Congratulations. Anything else? Anything else? I All think right, that's this everything. is now turn three. Mike, any reason to think your uh, fellas are out of command? We got one. Oh, is, is he that far out? Yeah, because it's only three we inches. Three. Oh, yeah. So he's out of command. What does that mean? He can't advance towards the enemy. He cannot rally. You see that all right here? He cannot recover from his disorder. So pretty serious stuff. We know that about him. Everybody else is good. You may move. We can ring the 20 bell, but tragically, it's uh, we're only at a 13. All right. So he cannot move toward back into com firing range of those dragoons, correct? Unformed skirmish militia facing foreign British regular should... Well, they do have a morale check. They did have to take it. You're not going to bog, huh? What's that? Melee. The uh, I gotta I gotta look something up because there is a chance I misread the morale roll for that. You you may have a point there. Let me do something real quick. Okay. I'm actually responding to somebody in the chat, but I want to get this right. No, no, no. I, I figured that's what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. just cool. acknowledging that that I'm waiting until you mm -hmm. you get that clarification. Yes, any infantry meleeed by cavalry is at a minus one when it makes its morale check. So do I take this to mean... And if you're meleeing skirmishers, you get a plus one. Ooh. And he can't attack you, parenthetically. Infantry cannot attack cavalry. Oh. So they can shoot at him, they can't melee him. So you can just turn and shoot me my flank. Yeah, that's right. Does that give him a bonus? Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That'll be a... That'll be a uh, Shooting at that'll... a flank? Sure. Oh, yes. Okay. You don't like that. That, that's bad. But, uh, I get mm -hmm. why melee, because then it's at your side. Yeah. But, but justification? Mm -hmm. There he goes. All right, so you're good to go, Mike. Okay, and then this guy cannot move toward them to get into Correct. shoot range, right? Correct. All right.
Yeah, it's a minus one. Good, good, good. Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay. So there's those two. These lads over here on the far left. I thought I was um, defending. I'm not being attacked. What? I'm sorry. No, you're attacking. Like fast him. What? You're you're actually attacking. Am I? Mm -hmm. I thought I was defending. Anyway. Fast cool. infantry here in the woods. How yep. far can he move? Eight inches. I thought you said I was right, that I was defending. Well, no, you didn't go first. There's a difference. Who's all the way up isn't going to have a shot, so... He can't face... He can't pivot again, correct? Correct. My deal is, is I got to try and make sure I'm out of uh, the path in case these guys retreat, so... Mm -hmm. that, oh, yeah, that's fine. you, you want to see skirmishers... You want to see skirmishers destroyed? That's how it happens. Charge me. Charge me. We don't need me. to charge you. We just need to shoot you. Charge me. I was kind enough to not charge you, so you charge me. Yeah? Right? Hmm. Oh? Are you charging me? You're not. I don't think so. I don't think so. Uh, lame. <laughs> totally and utterly lame. These fast infantries can move. It's all 16. 16. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just can't get him turned to, to make a shoot. Sure you can. Move him straight ahead. And then turn him when you get there. Oh, I can turn after I move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I, I think I was a little... I was just confused by that. Yeah. I couldn't turn the other one because I turned first, then moved. Right. Gotcha. You can you can turn again. It's just that with... Uh, that costs you either half your move or a disorder. And as right. I think you've probably already he's... seen, you don't want a disorder. Right. So this guy here, i got to move him forward a little bit to make sure he's... A... Get him in range. These guys, I turned, but you said you don't want to do that because of disorders, correct? Right. If you turn them again, you're going to catch a disorder. Right. But I could still move forward. Or no, I can't nope. move anymore. Oh, after yeah, I yeah, turn. you can. Sure. You can do it anywhere during your turn. Okay. So he's got 16 inch move? Yeah. Okay. So he moved nine. Now that you're Probably still I don't have. The left fewer of you. All right, I'll leave him there though. Right. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. This guy, we're going to get it back around to there. Move my computer up, and we'll move Morgan up. And that's all we're going to do for now. All right. Well, that's plenty. Nothing there. All right. This is where we're all got our little morale checks happening. Uh, seriously, why are yep. they all impaled in the back of the head? These guys. So this one's. He's out. Oh, he ahead. can't shoot. You'd have to turn him right. to shoot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know if I could. If we still did a morale. Yeah, I, I'm just I moving this one guy yeah, out from underneath the tree so we can see. All him. right. So here's your first check. Uh, boys in the trees. Anything but a six. Oh, oh roll a six. Oh, no. Whatever will you do? He suddenly decided he didn't like facing off against lines of British regulars. 
how about those, those British regulars can't go over? And I think, by the way, uh, I, I would make the point that, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. Remember, Volley and Bandit is built to be played on a big, big table. It's meant to move the troops around. Don't dispute, don't doubt that. And to uh, yeah, to DCB's point, uh, uh, you know, these guys here, they don't have to check. These guys do. These guys' morale is such, they don't even have to check. Um, now, Buchanan's Augusta Rifleman, anything but a six? Uh, two sixes wow. Yes. That's bad business. <laughs> uh, now we've got... Uh, well, we'll start here, I suppose. That's uh, anything but a six for the Surrey and Wilkes County. Are they in range? I assume they are. Yeah, they're fine. Double check that, but I thought they were. Yeah, they are. They're good. Check the next guys. Okay. Roll to... we'll, we'll check all three. Yep. Six. Oh. And a two. Man, and now uh, Velker, you you do have to check these guys. Anything but a six. Yeah, Mike had a bad round there. Uh, can these guys shoot? Yeah. No. Mm -mm. No, they're not in range. No, that's oh, not. It's, oh, it's and they're out of range, too. So, uh, Valkyrie. No, Valkyr they're not out of range, though. Yeah, they are. No, they're not. Two inches. Only two oh. inches. Look. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. They're, mm. they're I, I still don't think they have a shot unless they turn. So, wait. It's. Wait, so, far, so that's, what's that's the angle? 45 degrees. So, 45 degrees. Is this one? Yeah, it's, that's. Is that not a hit? Nah, it's. Is it more than well, what does it say? I, it's it say? I don't know as it's got. I don't know. I, I may have to ask Frank. I may have to ask Frank because that's one of those classic problems you run into. Because I want to shoot him. I understand. I I respect that, and and he would like to shoot you, and that's how it all goes. But I want his plan to backfire. Don't you see? I want to embarrass him in front of this crowd. <laughs> <laughs> Stan may only fire at enemy stands which are within the stands field of fire. It's within the stands field of fire. You can yes. Shoot you can shoot at him. <laughs> so then I'll have to check. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I was gonna say that. <laughs> mean, that means he's got to check because he could be shot at by him. So yeah. So. Yeah. All right, Mike. Why don't we check the uh, first Maryland attack? Oh, they're fine. They're at six. They don't have to do anything. You're fine. Okay. Uh, the left wing first battalion, seventy first Highlanders checks. Fine. How is this Maryland detachment? They're fine. And oh, the Virginia Continentals check on a five. The Continentals are bad. They're fine. Four. They're all good. The uh, horsies. Now we go in here. Uh, yeah, the horsies have to check. Uh, they're being shot at from the flank. They hate that. Uh, that's a five or a six. They're fine. What about the guys shooting? They don't have to check. They can't be hurt. What? Really? Yeah, they can't. You can't. You can't melee them. You can't shoot them. I just thought it was whoever shoots and nope. is okay. Is that it? Okay. So, Mike, where do you want to fight? Tell me. Uh, let's just start here in the woods with the dragoons. All right, that's just a that's a simple old shot. Get it old. One for a five or a six. You and your sharpshooter. Yeah. Nope. Missed. Pew pew. And then we'll just start working our way from my right to the left there. All right. So I don't know that he's got a shot, the Virginians. Oh, yeah, he does. Yeah, I think based on does our he? previous analysis, they do. Yeah. Okay. And yeah, I'm fine with that either way. Yeah, yeah. That's two yeah, dice. Two. two dice for a six. Nope. I got one for each of them. Next. No. No, you, got, you, got, you get to shoot at one of them. Oh. Okay. So pick which one you want. And you're going to get to... Sh now, but that's the risk you take, right? Well, you're going to know. Like, he shoots you here. If he kills you, you're gone. Right. So well, I, I want to shoot at this guy. All right, but anyway, he goes first. Uh, two for six again. I said all my sixes on my morale rolls. Yep. So, Velker, yeah. you get to come back with two for six? Two? Yeah. I have three. No, no, no. Three is your strength. It's always two. That's the di that's one of the big differences between this and blue curve. Oh, okay. It's all I yeah. It's it's, it's always two. Okey dokey. Oh, so close. Nothing. Over here, two for six. 
Two sixes. Oh. Whoa. That is uh, that's wow. down to one. Ow. Ow. And that's Tarleton down to holy the cow. actual heck. That was that was getting blasted, is what that, that was. was. That was serious pew pew. Tarleton is down to ten. Oh no. Hello, Jim. These guys. I'm back. Uh, now yeah, he gets to Yeah, did those all three of yours shot, Mike? Yes. Yeah. Alright, so now this guy gets to shoot. Yep. Two for six. Oh. Nothing. All right, Mike, we're going to start here. Oh, just, again, start here. The disorder won't affect him, just so you know. A kill is a kill, but that's fine. You, you, okay. Uh, anyway, one shot for five or six, Mike? Five. Got him. No save. Next one. Hang on a second. I got to mark Tarleton. Oh, sorry. All right, so that's a miss on the that's second fine. one. Uh, Velker, yep. give me one second. Oh, I'm sorry, I went in. All right, so that's three misses for you. Uh, three misses down the line, just because. No, I that's gotta, two misses. We're at, well, we're right. You got the one. I got to go to Tarleton and mark him down for the nine. All right, didn't mean to get ahead of you. <laughs> no worries. That's okay. It's moving fast. Tarleton's I like it. Right so here. The, yeah, I got him. Uh, so Velker, you get to shoot back. Uh, you get another shot, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you oh, get two dice. Oh. No! Oh, that was so mean. All right. The me... dice are playing with me. They're playing with my feelings. All right. We're shooting here at the uh, Red Wing British. Got it. One for five that, or six. I love oh. that they are now the Cardinals. The Red Wing. Six. Ouch. And that is... But they're in the trees, so don't no, I don't make a no. saving roll. Uh, no. Some of them don't shoot the trees. Let me uh, mark Tarleton one more time. Greenpeace will come hunt you down for shooting trees. Mm -hmm. Velk, you want to shoot back at them? Two for six? Yeah, these guys convinced those guys to shoot those Yeah, I figured. All right, so, yeah. I get two dice. That's one of them. And that's two. Wow. And, and the other one. Yeah, I got one. Okay, that's a kill over here. Oh, wait a minute. Who was shooting him? Where? Go for the this guy oh, this guy shot first. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, but you get a okay. saving throw. You're in the trees. Oh, that's right. And of course he will because his luck is insane. And not this time. See, I no. told you. Ah, uh, yes. Time. Reverse All right, psychology so can, always can works. Can you mark down Howard, please? Yep. Huh. So Howard is marked down. These guys shot. These guys shot. Yeah, that's everybody. So Tarleton, as we head off from the turn, is an eight. Howard, Wait a minute. Didn't I have a second guy... Oh, no, no, no. no. Didn't I have a No, you rolled all shoot? three. You missed two, you hit one. Well, no, I rolled three down here, right? One, two, three. See, that's here. why. Did this I... is why going so fast is the wrong idea. Yeah. Right. Um, let's, let me take a look. Because I shot. Hang I shot second. one. I shot the with this The only way guy. I'm going to be able to check it is by looking at the chat. So yeah. looking at the uh, dice chat. So yeah, Velker rolled his everybody, and you missed the save. You can make your chat bigger if you want more results at once. No, you rolled all six. Okay. I was thinking I didn't. Because I had my doubles for my line infantry. Oh no, there it is. Yeah, there it is. I got it. Okay, yeah, you've got... Uh... And I rolled, I rolled no, this one that got killed. Yeah, he doesn't have... So it's this guy to shoot. This guy has no shot. Right. Yep. No. no. Mm -mm. Not that little. Four. No hit. All right. Yep. All right. Sorry about that. Yeah, I, I can see where that gets confusing. Yeah, because it, well, it does move so fast, which is nice. Yeah. Okay. Well, and I, I had rolled this one, and then I knew Velker was shooting. Where my confusion was is I didn't... Think about him having two shot or uh, two right. units to shoot with. So, yep. So why and then this you, guy up here you? doesn't have a shot. Why are all of the guys impaled in the back of the head? I oh, is that right? I need to know this. Why, why are they what? Impaled. In oh, the he's back. he's. It's the way I've got him based. He's he's freaking out about the way I got him based. No, no, no. no. Which no, guy? Look, look at the guys. I know. No, no, no. It's not the way you got him based. Where is it? Just look at the back of their heads. 
even in the back. Look, what are the, no, it looks more like with the red guys, because you've got these white pipes sticking in the back of their head. Hmm. Okay, so, um, <laughs> moving oh, on. Ponytails. Moving. Anything else from you, Mike? I think you were, you're, you're done. I think I'm done. Yep. I completed. And give me one second. So, uh, yeah, that's the bottom of turn three. Velker, we check you. This guy's gone off the board, so it doesn't matter. He's good. He's good. He's good. He's good. I don't think you have any problems. So you are, oh, anything in the trees that I need to worry about? Where's his commander? Okay. Mine. That's him. No, that's Where are mine. You, Velker? Where's your guy? He's, oh, he's, he's just hiding, in, right in hiding in the trees. Excellent. All right, so you're all good. Velker, move. All right, so first, this guy, I fuck. Yeah, that's, that, that, that is a profound not surprise. Mm -hmm. Ooh, nasty, because he's disordered. And by the way, one thing we have not talked about at all, guns can face any way they want, turn any way they want, move any way they want, as long as they're limbered. Oh, all right. Yeah, you can, you can spin them all over the place. The only thing it takes half a move to unlimber them. Bonk. Yep. That's actually formed cavalry. Check it out. <laughs> You go back, go back, Velker. Stop there. Notice how far you've moved. Turn and now start measuring again, just to keep it. Yeah, because the angles don't quite work that way. His dragoons are coming to rumpus. It actually doesn't, strangely enough. I'm done with you idiots. <laughs> <laughs> Are you fussing with those fellows? Yes. You, you have been teasing me with your pokey pokey pop guns for too long now. So are you moving in on both of them at the same time? Okay. This guy. Got it. Yep. Mm-hmm. Who's the uh, right wing first battalion, seventy first Highlanders? Who are they part of? Fraser, I'm pretty sure. You know, Fraser is the Fraser? commander of yeah. the British Converged Lights. These guys. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Fraser Alexander oh, it's commands. You keep you yeah. keep losing Alexander, who commands the seventy first over here. Well, he's got 71st over here, too. Yeah. He's got three. Oh, right. They've got a left, center, right. Our yeah. battalions. Oh, so that's, that's going to be an interesting challenge come next turn. Ha ha, yes. Oh, you've got it. Yeah, you've got it. Ha ha. I win. He's outstanding in his field. Very good. This guy bonks. Nope, this is a neat little system. Oh, I can't, no. I, I forgot about these guys. I was going to say, you've got a whole freaking <laughs> battalion back there. I was kind of curious. Right, I'm done. Which Patty G rules, Reg? I'm curious. I am no small fan of Dr. Dr. G. 
I'm done. All right. Uh, morale checks. Where do you want to start? There's a ton of them. Start over on the left, I guess. On your left? Okay. Over here in the weeds. Um, yeah, that's a worse check for them because that is fighting cavalry. So that is... And they're disordered, right? Are they? I thought they were. Those guys the are. Guys? Yeah, those are the other guys that are okay. disordered. Okay. Yeah. So I believe the only thing they're up against is that uh, fighting the horsey. So anything but a five or a six in their fine, Mike. Two. All right. Valker, you're checking at a five. Anything but a six. You're fine. This is a different matter. Mm -hmm. This is a f anything but a four, five, or six. Two. Oh, he passes. That that would have cost him the, the departure. A six, Valker. Oh, that was close. Okay. Well, don't fool around with that. Uh, this is that unprepared thing. So, uh, anything. So, Mike, for you, the Virginia Continentals will save on anything but a five or a six. Three. Good. The British Light Legion Dragoons, anything but a six. Anything here is a up oh, there. It is okay. anything but a six. No, no, no. This is oh. this is where the modifiers come in. Why He's got a minus one. Oh no, that's infantry. Never mind. So yeah, you didn't. I have rolled to roll. a one. Yeah, you you didn't have to roll. I I thought okay. it was cavalry. I was wrong. Velker, anything but a six. Fine. How about these guys? And, They're fine. I don't think the Maryland had to. Yeah, yeah Maryland they didn't. doesn't have they to did. check. Uh, the Highlanders, anything but a six. Very good. Very good. All right. Um, well, we'll start here. The 71st Highlanders again. Anything but a six. All right. Let's check in these trees if there's anything else for those riflemen that they got to worry about. Do, 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 do. Meleid. Skirmishers owned by close order. Meleid skirmishers. Yeah, you're going to get a bonus, Velker, is the deal. No, no, no. For those, oh, for those skirmishers, you did. Okay. Okay, linear infantry or march. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Not a flank attack. Nothing. It's all good. All right. So, Mike, checking for you. These Lincoln and Rutherford guys stand on anything but a six. Or these Surrey and Wilkes. These are anything but a. Uh, this is anything but a, yeah, five or six, because they're disordered. Two. They're fine. And Velker, you're going in here with a six, so you're fine, and these guys need anything but a six. Three. They're good. Crazy. Over here, well, he's got to make that same sort of check. He needs everything but a five or, five or six, yeah. Three. Yeah, standing, and you're fine. Is that it? There's been there was no disorder. Oh, there's, there's, what, there's, what about this guy right here? Uh, he is he check? eligible? No, he's not. He's not at any risk, and he can't shoot. So, okay. Yeah, he's not. At, oh, yeah, he's no. He's got nothing. So he just sits there. Velker, where are your fights? Once again, go from left to right. Start with this guy. All right. Um, that is two versus one. Sixes? Sixes, yeah. Ah. Nope. Nobody Five. got a six, so um, uh, now you will do that. You will do that tie two. thing again. I'm pretty sure that's a. Minus two. Yep. Our team. Yep. Six. Four. Now I get it. Velker. <laughs> Beat him. All right, that gives him a disorder. And he has to go back. He uh, runs into my guys. He goes, if he does, he's dead, but I don't think he will. Eight inches straight back. Well, not into my guys, but behind my yeah, guys. Yeah, he, he doesn't like where he is. I wouldn't say that. There it is. You can take the space. Yeah, this is the bad deal. Yeah, this is the bad day for this uh, This is, that's two to one. Yeah, it's two to one again. 
Looking for sixes. Four. Man, nothing. 1d6. Same deal. Two. Oof. Zero. All right, two to zero. Uh, that <laughs> means tied. he wins, which means he is he is routed off the field. Good day. Is that Howard? Yep. No. And no, may... that's Pickens, isn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, that's Pickens. Yep, that's Pickens. So he can, Velker, you can take that ground if you All wish. Right. I fought for this ground you with did. my life. You did with your life. How about here? Here? Yes, please. That is four to two. Ooh. Ooh. I get two dice? Yep. No hurting. <laughs> One, two, three, four. There's, yeah. The only the only thing that uh, Velker's got going for him is uh, that there's now that still at minus two because not not stationary. Uh-oh. Yeah, small straight. <laughs> oh, snake eyes. Oh. So that's, uh, that's a loss for you. Actually, it's not as bad as it could have been. I threw two dice. I don't know why I rolled two. But that's okay because they both were ones. One. So uh, that guy goes back. Oh, that's right. Eight inches. Uh, he is he fast infantry, and if so, yes. Go back eight. Since I'm... I will take that ground, and I will break through. You do have the option yep. of breaking through. Fast, fast infantry. Yep. There you go. That attack is allowed. That's going to be gross. <laughs> All right, breakthrough. All right, so here it goes. Once you encounter another enemy, let's uh, let's see what it is, though. You must go directly ahead toward... No, you can't turn. You have to go directly ahead towards the charging opponent. I still, I still should hit him, though. And ends the charge move in contact with the router unless you contact another enemy stands first. Oh. Do, do you? Oh, I do. Let's Just see, let's see. barely. Fair enough. Yep. Okay. Breakthrough Cavalry. All right, so here's the choice you're making. If you make this charge, you suffer a permanent disorder. Let's I go love, for it. I'm officially declaring my love of that rule. Because that's what should happen, right? I mean, if you... Let's go for it. Okay. Permanent disorder, here I come. Very good. So you are doing that. That guy is hitting there. He's moved back there. This is all correct. I am confident. So this is now the melee here. Um, you are not meleeing him. Have you made contact? You have not. Okay. So that is a two. Wait. Time out. Melee is four. Let's go down and see where the melees are. Any other melees? Okay, so Mike, you get two more dice. What? Me he Eight, gets four. Two or four. Whoa, why is that? Okay. It's four. It's two for firing, four for melee. Oh, so we've so, been rolling wrong? It, it's only one. This is the only time it's happened. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah so Mike, you so get he two. Gets you, even dice with people? Yep, you get two more dice. The only. He's okay. gonna he's gonna lose a boatload of stuff though. He loses the morale check. He loses the tiebreaker. He loses a bunch of stuff. He's at a significant disadvantage. And you get two dice, Mike. You got. It. But if he gets one hit, he wins. Right. That's not good. Wait a minute. So, so I get four dice, dice to roll this. No, time, you right? get two dice. You get you usually oh, get two. four, but you already rolled two. Okay. So you get four. 
So you get two. I you rolled get two. two. You get two wait, dice wait, wait, wait. to make when, up when, for the to make up for these Virginia Continentals that didn't get their proper number <gasps> of dice. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I misunderstood. Yeah, yeah. I, I thought we're resolving the melee. No, no. Mm -mm. Okay. There's a six and a That's, one. That takes this all back to zero. You win that melee. I disorder. You are. You take a hit. Well, yeah, that's true. No. And I just need to be able to see oh. it where it goes. Oh, okay. I guess that's the best. Looked like it was like right there on the end. Half a move back, please, and that comes off Tarleton. How far is that? I don't know. Half. 12 inches. Well, Remember now. Oh. This is brutal. <laughs> this is brutal. This is brutal. Oink. All the way through. Through both battalions. Yeah. Both of those guys are disordered. Yep. The only bonus is that Tarleton can attach himself and straighten him out, but... And does Tarleton suffer... Yep. Points then too. Yep. Let you get uh, two more down. No, 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 no. That doesn't. Disorder doesn't cost him anything. The uh, okay. The death of that one. Guy oh yeah, does. yeah, yeah. Yes, yes. There we go. Now it's correct. All right. So now, this is four to four. Four dice to four dice. Mm-hmm. I got a six. All right, you each got one. Yes. Do yep. do either of you have no elites? I might believe. No, no, you've got. Elites. I do. No, no, you've got. I've got it, no elites. No, not, no, I don't. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say you've got troops that don't have them, but I think that unit does. Uh, yeah. Yep. Straight up die roll. Do it. How many dice? One die. Order two. All right, Belker loses. That is fast infantry. Eight inches, straight back. This is why I said at the start of the game, do not put guys behind each other. Yep. Don't do it. I, they were miles away, Mr. Gunn, because it's cavalry. Yeah, yeah. Had it not been cavalry, it would have been fine. And this is so another 4-4. Did he four. lose a point? Uh, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, uh, nope, nope. Real quick. Okay, nope. because he, he just had it's to retreat. Only disorder, suffer correct. any casualties. Yep. That's uh. So oh wait, no, no, you both hit each other, didn't yeah. you? Yeah, we both. Hit yeah, each other. yeah, you both hit each other. Oh, he's dead. Forget about disorder. He's dead. He only had one left. So that's one off for Tarleton, but you also took one too, Mike. Okay, I'll get it. Who's that it's from? Tarleton, not Tarleton. That's the way the British pronounce it. Tarl Tarleton. Tarleton's down to six. Um, now this guy, the Howard. Maryland detachments. Was he previously at two? I did. Yeah, yeah, I just okay. I just decremented him. And now you have to decrement and Howard's down Howard. to four. Okay, so he's down to four? Okay. Got him. All right. Got it. All right, so that was a nasty one. How about you, Velker? The 71st Highlanders, this is a big punch. This is a nasty punch right here. So this is four to four. It's against the Maryland detectives. They're even. Yeah. Four to four. Seriously. Ah, uh, one we got hit. Six. One hit, but that's enough. And it means Velker loses. Just gonna scrape by those guys. Yeah, he's got. He'll make it by. That's. You've yeah. got to pass through both flanks of the guy that you're retreating behind. Yeah, they are fast, so that's eight inches, and Tarleton takes another. Got him. And I take a hit, too, correct? No, he didn't hit you. No? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Oh, yep, gotcha. This could be very... This could be nasty. But perhaps Velker will win. Which one do you want? Four, yeah. Four to two. Is he going against? 
both of my units there, yep. or just one? Four to two. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. It's both of them dead. Yeah, it is. Yep. Hey, just hit you at all. That's it. Huge win. Huge win. Are those my Howard goodness. Those are Pickens. Are those, Howards? those are Pickens. Pickens. You may advance if you wish. Now I am the Lord of the Weeds. And how about these fellas? They're going in, right? Four to one this time. Four to one indeed. Four to one. No hits. Can he get Adrian a been up here looking at some units. Can he get a single hit? Got it. Got Come it. Come on! This, I... Mm. Oh, wait. Never mind. I mm. think this is a never mind. I think this is a never mind. <sighs> Charged by close order stands. When a skirmisher in the open is charged by a close order stand, it is treated as if it has lost a melee at the point of contact. Uh, if the ch infantry skirmishers, infantry skirmishers melee normally if they are in uh, village, town, broken ground, or work. Well, they are. All right. Makes sense. So, Velker, you do take a hit. And you will withdraw those six inches, which will disorder those guns, I think. Or eight inches, I'm sorry. Hey, good night, John. Take care. No, actually, DCB, this is a variation of um the actual rules they're half this powerful in the basic rules um the belief is is that this level at this wing level the infantry power is shrunk but the cavalry isn't proportionally balanced it this is specifically contrary to the way the rules are written it would usually be a two and a one this is essentially double strength cavalry Uh, Velker, here. Four to one. Nothing. No hits. Uh, roll, I'm pretty sure that disorder counts against you, does it? Velker's got a three. Mike, what do you got? Five. Stationary infantry versus oh, any chance you got no elites? Yes, I do. Yeah, that's right. So that's a tie roll again. Skirm One. Okay, that's Goku, a got Valker, it. which kills that guy. And then who? That who's is this commander Howard. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. That's Howard. Why does he die? Why because he, die? he has to take a disorder. He's already... Oh, he's already disordered. Okay. He's already disordered, and therefore he's removed. Not a permanent disorder? I'm pretty sure that... I mean, I don't know. But... Oh, no, that's right. That's right. He just gets a permanent disorder and routes. But then I think when he routes... When he routes, he's gone. Here. It's all the subtle little things, you know. Yeah, if already disordered, the unit routes and moves its full distance away. So, yeah, he's gone. 
Where did, so did I take him that off? I did. Sure. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, you did. All right, so Howard's gone. He's there. Those guys are in the trees. Got it. Whew, that was an awful lot. Are we good? Felker, are you done? I think I am. That's turn four. This takes us to turn four. Parenthetically, in the uh, just the way the thing times out, the Battle of Cowpens was wrapped up by the end of the scale turn four. So we'll see how we do. Mike, any reason to think who who might hear that you have is out of command? Cunningham's. Yep. They're in a bad spot. Oh. Yep. Anybody else? No, I don't think so. Go within. No, yeah, that's all I got. Okay. All right, movement. You're up. All right. We'll start here on my left. We'll rotate around and go for a flank shot here. This fast infantry here can only move, what, eight inches here in the woods? Correct. Wall. All right, so there's one. Hey, Velker, you are disordered by charging into the trees. Oh, I am. Mm -hmm. uh, do I have a shot at that cavalry from here? Where are you? Sorry. Right here, Jim. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. They're not. On, they are not behind the military crest of that hill. Range is fine, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Barely, but it's there. Well, remember, it's, near, it's, sure it's nearest to nearest in volume bayonets. Yeah, yeah. And then my cavalry's got a sixteen-inch move. Uh, twenty-four. Four. So I can do something along these lines if I wanted to. No, because I don't have visual on them. Correct. And in charging, you can only make your facing to change at the start of the turn, just like in Blucher. Right. Okay. I'm good with that. Fast infantry can go 16 over open ground. And remember, you do have the opportunity to rally. Right, um, but then I can't combat. Correct. Well, remember, that's rally from route. That's okay. not rally from disorder. My problem, thing is, though, is I don't have anybody except for him. He's out of command. Well, there you go. That That's a problem. <laughs> right. But I can rotate these guys around, can't I, and shoot? No, they can't shoot, can they? No, they can They can shoot. Uh, it says, as it says right here, they can make. they may still make a free-facing change. They may move at half rate, but then they become disordered and they may remain stationary. All right. So they rotate it around. Okay. And these guys that are poorly trained, they cannot move toward the enemy, right? No, they can move towards. Yes, they can. They can move towards oh, they the can. enemy. They just, they're just more limited in terms of some of their other things they get to do. They can only move how far? That, that slow, it just depends on the type of infantry they are. They are slow infantry, so that's 12.
Yeah, all you have to do... And just again, just to be clear on rallying, any unit can rally if it is in command. Okay. And just to be clear, this commander was not here until after the rally okay. phase. So I moved him up after. Okay. I think we're ready to check some morales. All right, we do it. Where do you want to go? We'll start back here first. They just stayed still, right? Yeah, they just they they turned around, turned in, rotated. turned in place. Okay, uh, very good. They are they're in all kinds of bad morale spots. Um, they are most importantly disordered. So anything but a five or a six, and they'll be all right. Three. All right. Why are they rolling? Because they're. Danger. That's true. They're not in any danger. That's true. They're, they actually didn't even have to check. These guys oh, do okay. uh, anything but a five or six. They're fine. Uh, where else, Mike? Where else are we? Um, we'll just come back over to here then. We'll just All work right. our way through the woods here. We got two units there. Yeah, this guy can be shot at by this guy for sure. Well, we'll check oh, yeah. this guy right away. This uh, fella is disordered, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Five or six, or anything but a six. Sorry, anything but a six. He's fine. By uh, the way, I would like to be known. All of my infantry are disordered. Well, it, you all it costs you to undisorder is half your move. I'm saying right now. Yeah, but considering how close you are to everything, it doesn't matter. I'm it's just saying, it's pretty easy to get off. I'm saying. I'm very vulnerable right now. Vulnerable right now. Um, and now, Mike, you've got a one to five, so anything but a six for triplet Farquhar County, Virginia Rifleman. Five. Uh, that's gonna. They're fine. They're fine. They're not. They're not disturbed. Oh, okay. That, that would have been bad. Yep. And now these guys can't be harmed, so they don't check. And now and these guys don't have to check again because of two units. Correct. correct. Nope. Mm -mm. Yep. Yep. So we'll go down here. These guys can't be harmed here. Right. Neither can these guys. But these so guys those... can be, so they got to check. Uh, so, Velker, anything but a five or six. He's good. All right. You know what? Hey, just curiosity. Mm hmm. I haven't moved the. I can. Probably would make more sense to go up and do a melee on these guys, wouldn't it? If that was what you can do because of where you were, I don't remember where you came from. It's a little weird to do it now. Yeah, I know. I second guess. And I was like right about here. Yeah, but we can you see him and all that? No, stuff. actually. You see yeah, inches into trees. No. I don't know. Let's yeah, see. but I had to turn first and then. Move. Yeah, that's the that's so, question. I don't know. Yep, yep, no problem. Uh, I so these myself. guys checked. Uh, these guys got to check. Both of them. Uh, Velker will do your guys first. Anything but a six. Mike, your guys. Uh, oh, they're actually they're fine. They can't. Right. They can't even. Nothing can happen. Yep, they're sixes. All right, here again. Uh, these guys can't be harmed. Right. So these guys have to check against the whole bloody universe. Um, except they're well. It's so they have the high ground. They do, and that actually matters it in a melee. Plus one. Anyway. It gives them morale plus one right here. Yeah, defending higher ground. There it is. Plus one. You're well done. Well done. But they are being flank attacked, so that takes that one away. I'm not questioning. I'm just asking the question, uh -huh. though. Defending higher ground does apply to cavalry, though, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's I just want to make sure just because they were cavalry. So it's a wash, it. so uh, anything but a six. You're fine. The other one? Or are both set? Being attacked? Uh, oh, that's right. That's two units. Gosh. Yeah, the one in the back will have to check, too. But then the first one wouldn't be flank attacked, right? Where's the guy on the right? 
Oh, that's true. That's true. So this guy would notionally get a plus two. Or a plus one. So any, so he's fine. You can't hurt him. But the guy in the back and then... You checked for him. Okay. Cool. You're good. This guy can't not be attacked. These two and they can't either. Then. They can't either. They're not... They're oh, that's right, because there's nobody shooting. Danger. Yeah, there's no danger. All right. I think that's it. Mike, call it out. All right, we'll start with our sharpshooters back here in the back, Five behind six. enemy lines. Best. Nope. Next. All right, we'll start here in the woods. These guys. Uh, which guys first? Those guys? Okay, that makes sense. Uh, five or six. And I, I get four dice, right? Do I get to fight that? Three. Yeah, you don't get to fight this guy, because he's not meleeing. He's oh, shooting. Oh, yeah, he's it, shooting. It. So he misses. This guy, yep. you get to shoot back at with two. And he gets to shoot one. Five. That's a hit. See if you can roll it off, Elker. No way. I never do. Nope. The so he'll be, don't work in So my he'll favor. be two dice back. He's... Uh, take that. You got one of you. Hit. So you get to try to roll it off, Mike. Five. And you do. Uh, <laughs> okay, so the uh, that's another that's a kill. Where's my boy Tarleton? He's down to four. Oh, not Tarleton. All right. Um, that's that's all soon. done. That's all done. What's all done? Guy? Is this guy not? Wait, 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 what? Isn't this guy attacking him in the back? Well, no, I'm saying these guys are done, but now... No, 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 we, but... we did these guys up here. Oh, okay, I oh, see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, got it. So where's next, that's... Mike? Right here's where... Yeah. So here, let's do this one. Yeah, the flank. It's out yeah. in the... That's, well, it's these just... two are out in the open. They're just shooting at each other. So, Mike, two you got two dice... Yeah, I think you got two dice each. Yep, two dice each. Oh, we're doing the open one first? Okay. Faded. Got a hit. Yes, I hit something. Nice, nice job. Wow. And I missed. <laughs> All right, so that actually takes him down to a two. That's 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 a that's a scuff. <laughs> and he is in. Oh, that's for Howard too. Oh, not Howard. Howard is down to two. Oh no, not Howard. You got that him. could that could really hurt that division. Oh. My goodness. All right, so now Another shooting again. One in the weeds. Uh, so you got uh, you got two shots, Mike. Which one do you want first? Uh, skirmishers first. All right, so that's a four, five, six because of the flank. I don't know, on one dice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nope. Three. All right. And this is this is two dice for sixes. Not three because he's flanked. Oh yeah, three. So it's for five or six. Oh, for five or six. Two for five or six. Two for five or six. That's oh, six. That's a hit, and you're in the trees. Roll it off. <laughs> What? Got he it. does. That's the first time it's worked. I know. The first time. He gets no shots back. This shot is done. Next, Mike. Over. Over Not here this. to my Virginians. Out of this mess. On lentils. Make sure that there's no dispositional modifiers, if you know what I mean. Uh, combat modifier. Dispositional. Their disposition doesn't allow them to do so? They're all <laughs> pacifists? Funny. Wow. You are funny. I know, I know. Well, I guess I was wrong about that. Interesting. Where are the modifiers? Dedicated guns. No, it's real straightforward. Holy cow. How about that hill? You get anything for that hill? I get a plus one, right? Anything for that hill? Survive. Hill. One contour, mm -hmm. there it is. Melee, no. M. Note M. Oh, it's just the morale modifier. Okay, nope, no change. So it's just uh, it. So it just came in under the morale. So it's that is two dice for sixes. Ouch. Got one. Whoa, man! Had you been going for four, four fives, and sixes, that would have hurt a lot. Not that that didn't. Hurt. Where's Tarleton? 
Oh no, this is he's three now, right? Yep. Woo! And then my two South the Carolina now. regiments. Yes, you are. No doubt about it. Uh, that's two dice. Also for six. Nope. nope. Hey. Another one. Hey. Got it. Woo! One. Ow. This is going to come right down to it. Oh, Mr. Tarleton's down turn? to one. I'm losing next turn. There's no question in my mind that I'm dead next turn. Tarleton's down to two. Up to two. Or at least in my second. But I say one. Maybe not yeah. next turn. But Tarleton is down to two. We'll see. I'm toast. You got is that it? You got some stuff. You got some stuff you can do though. Especially, can you exhaust Howard? Even then, yeah, we'll still, see. Uh, there's so many of them. There's, there's a bunch of you too. Plus, you got the ability to rally your guys. Well, that's a good yeah. point. Rallying will help. Yeah. yeah. So All right. Start. That's 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 it. Um, we're not at exhaustion yet, so we're gonna keep going. We're gonna take it to the bottom of four. Belker, do you have anybody that's out of command? Maybe I do. I actually might. Oh, uh, just, just yeah, so. Yeah, baby. Just barely. Cool. Just so you know, Mike. Oh, <laughs> you had someone in the in the uh, chat call for go for the flank of the Legion cavalry. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't. Well, he can't though. You can't charge horse yeah, with. I, I can't charge infantry. But he can shoot him with infantry. Which he did. You can't charge cavalry no matter what. Uh -uh. Not with infantry. Well, not ah. with infantry. Interesting. Well, like I say, Blucher makes a different decision. A lot of different rules have a lot of different opinions on that. All right, so I'll start with Sanford. Go for it. This guy. Oh. To the shock and surprise of no one present. That's you're gonna bonk there. I thought he couldn't turn and charge though. You can. You can turn it. You can turn and charge. You can turn up to you forty. Can't oblique. You can't oblique. Oh, that's right. My problem here is I didn't have line of sight. Right, before exactly. I moved. Can't see him. Yep. And then the Legion cavalry or artillery open up here, fit in the gap. Can't. Yeah, it's no. You need a full size. You need that full gap. Not big enough. Don't make that sad face. You break my heart. You break a father's heart when you do that. Uh, now just, and, and I'm just going to ask this for rule clarification because uh -huh. he was limbered to start with, mm -hmm. and he moved. Can he unlimber then in the same move and then shoot? I'm just asking. Uh, I we would have to look. I believe so. Yes, yes, he can. Okay. He, but he can. And I'm only just move. asking. He can only. No, no, that's a great question. I, I was in the middle of saying he's going to limber. He's going to move. He's going to get into that angle, and it's going to be a no. Uh, no. Yeah, I know. It's. I, I feel bad. I do, but it is what you happens. You could shoot. No, you just no, may you shoot your not. horses in the butt. Don't lie to me. <laughs> and don't forget... Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I got guys in the lead. Oh, yeah, wait. Are these guys in command of each other? Yeah, he is. <laughs> How about this guy on the hill? He's not. Uh, yeah, he's not. Wait, really? Yep. Three inches. Oh, yeah. All right. Whoops. Oh, whoopsie daisy. Alright, this guy is, though, so he's mm -hmm. going to the wee smack. Mm-hmm. That's eight flavors of evil for them. Alright, and now Newmarsh, Newmarsh is going to rally all of these guys. Well, Newmarsh doesn't do it. The unit is in command. And so these guys lose half their move, but they lose that. Those guys lose half their move. There, and these guys lose half their move, and these guys lose. So everybody here is at half movement. But they have lost their just their temporary disorder markers. That's right. how that works. So and they cannot can they not engage in combat? I thought I saw here on the chart. No, that's if you rally from route. Oh, rally route it. Yep, I see. Oh, you ain't clowning at all, are you? If I'm going down, I'm going down fighting. Mm-hmm. This guy's also going to undisorder. Is he in command? Yes. 
Uh, I, I checked. Uh, Rick Stevens. Uh, Charleston's within range. Just barely, but yeah, that's that's range. I think that may have been too far a move to charge. Let me check. Let me check. How so? Nope, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Alright. Um. This dude? Oh, yeah. Thanks, Dad. Well, I'm, you've been doing it consistent-like, and I'm assuming you want me to take that disorder marker off him. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I did Not that he won't get it right back, but... It was well hidden, okay? Wait, how do you know he's going to get it right back? He might. I'm just saying he might. You did not say he might. You said he's going to get it right back. Fair. So, I got another... Just just a rule clarification. Of course, yeah. His, his uh, right wing here... Yes. Is only a strength of one. Correct. Melee. Can he melee with only a one yes. strength? Yes. Yes. He. One of the things that is very different between Volley and Bandit and Blucher, you don't lose combat effectiveness until you die. It's kind of like yeah. commands and colors in that way. Okay. I, so I was thinking though, if he melees though, is he going to? Doesn't he take a hit though? No, not automatically. Not automatically. You've got to hit him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's, actually, all of Commands it, and Colors works that way. Well, Ancients works doesn't. that way. Napoleonics doesn't. That's right. That's but, the main one we do. That's but uh, Memoir does. Yeah, but that's not Commands and Colors. Yeah, it is. Is it the it's same, the same system? system? Well, it's the same system. Is it the same people? Yep, it's Richard. Oh. It is Mr. Borg. It's Mr. Borg. All right. You all set? Are we... Uh, no, I'm not. You got more? You got more? Nope, because is he, was he not one of the guys you rallied? He's fast, so he's got eight inches, and he loses. Remember, it's two to one in there, so he doesn't make it. I'm thinking in my head, is that, is that right? Let's say, so he moves to point three. Mm -hmm. Let's say. Get him out of, all the way out, all the way out. There. So now you've got an inch and a half, you've got an inch five, right? So that's 6.3. 6.3 minus 1.7 6.3 minus five, that's 5.8 5. 5.8 5. 5. so you have a total over your whole move of 2.2 3.2 yeah and you have 8 inches 2.2 2. Right. you have 2.2 2. so what? you only have 1.1 inches to make contact you do not it's not wait it's 5.8 yes, plus 5. 2 8. is 7.8 right. plus point two is 8. Oh, I I can't, under, I don't know why, but I never get that right. <laughs> I always think it's 3.2 because you can eat 3 to get to 8. Yeah. So you can't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> Again, the filthy raspberries. We start it that way, we're going to end it that way. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> it's better than putting money in the sword jar. That's true. My feelings are hurt. <laughs> His feelings are hurt. Wounded. We actually talked about that on a, on a team call for work the other day. That it was like, we're going to set up Venmo accounts for everybody, and whoever swears is going to start positing money. <laughs> ah. Venmo, I guess Venmo. All right, so how you doing, Volker? I think you, I'm done. Where do you want to do morale checks? Let's start them. Start all the way over here, I guess. Let me do a... You know what I haven't done? A lot of good photographs. I really hope I got some pictures of that scrum in the woods, because that was really good. I think you did. All right, so... Um, except it wasn't good. Except I it wasn't good. a lot. So, 
that's that's actually a bunch of stuff that we got to remember. From I have the, the high ground. Yeah, but you're not defending it. I have the high ground. However, he is non-secure infantry meleeed by cavalry, so that's a minus one. It, anybody disordered? No, uh, but I'm poor. That does not matter. It does I have matter no what your name is. All right, it doesn't matter what your name is. So the big deal is is that it's cavalry against you. So, uh, Mike, you oh boy, um, Mike, you get a disorder on a. Uh, you, you need to pass a. You'd usually need a five or a six. Now you need a four or five six. Five. Oh boy. Rut roll. That's one for you. Velker, you need anything but a six. I have the high ground. Yeah, that's why you need anything but a six. Okay, how about here? They can shoot. So, but they don't. They they're shoot, not. At, they they're they're not at risk. Dangerous. They're not at risk. Yeah. Right. These fellers, uh, they're much better morale-wise, as I recall. So that's uh, anything Four, but a five. anything but a five or a six. One in three chance. Let's go. Two. He's fine. Valkyr, anything but a six. Uh, I'm being attacked in the flank, aren't I? Doesn't that change something? No, you're not flanked. Not these that's guys. Not flank. Not flank. Nope, they have to be behind your flank, behind this front line. They're going to shoot at you, but that's not a flank. All right. Okay. Time to fair. It doesn't matter. <laughs> that hurts. OJ, work on your evil laughter. <laughs> Work on it. I'm not evil. Uh, where's <laughs> you your? You are though. Where you blue raspberries at a twelve-year-old. <laughs> where's your? Uh, where's your next morale? It's hard to argue a, with a 12 that. Year, a twelve-year-old who's making fart sounds. That's true. <laughs> oh, you want some more? No, nobody wants fart sounds. <laughs> All right, so let's go right here. Uh, Velker, your seventy-first Highlanders. Anything but a six. Just remember, Velker, your mom and dad are gathering. Video footage oh, for your graduation or your Those guys are fine or... for, six. <laughs> for my resume. Um, yeah, these guys, the Maryland detachments are fine. Seventy-first Highlanders, anything but a six. <laughs> and the seventh foot, anything but a six. <laughs> All right. It's like what's going on in like these weeds. Bowl. What's going on in these weeds? Anything? I think they can shoot. Yeah, those guys can shoot. Yeah, I choose to fight you. Yeah, so these guys got to take a. That is a flank. So anything but a anything but a five or a six. Yeah. Four. Oh. They're fine. Anybody oh. else? Anybody else? Anybody else? I do believe that is. Oh no! Oh no! No no! Oh no! No 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 no! We didn't get this one. These these guys. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So that's a five, but they're disordered. A four, so that's a three. So. Uh, a two. No. Because I've hit his flag, right? You're right. No, you got that. And I'm cavalry. No, actually, you got a rear. Oh, that's rear yeah. It's flank or rear. Flank. And and no, but that's only formed cavalry counts. So oh, your I'm guys sure. over there are formed, not your skirmishers. So three. So you'd usually need a six. Then you'd need a five or a six. Then you need a four, five or six. So OJ, any a four, five or six, and you're gone. And you're gone. I'm gone. <laughs> and who was that? Pickens again? That is Pickens division. Yep. Is Pickens still alive? Where's Pickens? Where's Pickle? Oh, he's here. Way over there. He's, oh, he's now at the two. Is he? Oh. Wow, no, see? No, so... no, no, he... No, he? wait. Did you move him? No, he's at three. I just, I already oh, got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. Okay, but still, yeah. that shows you, this is closer than you think. I don't know about that. This is closer than you think. It's it's a well designed scenario. I don't know about but that. But where do you want your fights to go? Let's find see how these fights go. This is let's, gonna let, tell let's, a tale. Let's find the easy fight. Sure, of course. Uh, I might as well just start Simple shooting. shot. Yeah, yeah, start shooting. Two D six. Four six. Yes! That's a kill. No. no. Oh yeah, he has to He's check. Yes, you get to save. Gets to save for the woods. You're right. Or and he saves. No. Okay. Ah, nice. why are the woods so OP? <laughs> and why don't they work for me? Melee here. This yeah. is a double melee. Eight uh, to four. This is the way I believe it rolls. Now, <laughs> no, but what he has to do, uh, Mike, you're gonna have four dice, 
you have to dis- you have to split them up two and two between your two opponents. Okay. So you just roll two at a time. Yeah, just tell me who you're rolling against at that point. Um. All right, you roll okay. first. Um, I'll just go with the uh, center first battalion. Okay. But... Center first, got it. So those are two for six. Yep. One six. One hit. I think That's that good. killed him. No, it doesn't. No, it's not. Oh, was he at two? Yeah. Oh. He's so, down to okay. so, but Does now, uh, two, now you got now, now you got two over here on the left wing, seventh regiment of foot. If he hits this, he wins. There, well, One six. He does. So that's gonna that's going to exhaust Tarleton. Um, but let's now see what he does here. He comes in eight dice for sixes. For sixes. We got to see who wins the melee too. One. One. So he would lose the melee. That would cost Howard another one, and that exhausts Tarleton. Why? Why would I lose the melee if I? Really I no, 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 no. Velker does. Oh, oh, okay. I, I got gotcha. you. Misunderstood. Loses the melee. So, uh, we take a look at the victory conditions just to verify. I'm fairly confident it goes 16 turns. The Americans. Uh, where's the? They were they were obvious. Come on now. There we go. You win. The Americans win a minor victory if the if they collapse if the British brigade is exhausted, and a major victory if they collapse the British brigade. The British win a minor if they exhaust two of the three American brigades without collapsing themselves, and a major victory if they exhaust all three American brigades or cause two or three Americans to collapse without exhausting or collapsing themselves. So they can't have a major. What? And, and this is probably going to be sort of our finishing note. What is morale collapse? This is kind of fun. I guess not for all possible definitions of fun. The way morale collapse works, it's sort of the last phase of the game. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. At the end of each turn during which a division is at or beyond its exhaustion level, and in which it suffers any casualties, the owning player rolls a die. If the die roll is equal to or less than the total casualties suffered that turn, the division suffers a morale collapse. So the game continues. Mm -hmm. But now Tarleton is exhausted. What does that mean? The division may no longer move into contact with enemy units, in addition, no stand in the division may go stationary. The effects of exhaustion take place at the end of the turn, not immediately. So what do I do now? Do I just No, you would you're you're essentially done. I mean it's but we we should play it out. Yeah. Yeah. We should play it out just to see the net effect. So if you're, I can you're, you're ex- two of the three, it's a tie. So you are uh, you're down here to one. Do, do we need to retreat these units yes. for any particular reason? Yes. Okay. I didn't do. know if that had any impact. It it does. I think this one's going to hit this guy up here. Well, that's what we're going to find out. So he's gonna, he's fine. Let me give him this. And he does not. It, he can bump him, but he. Eh. Oh, that's right. You said he, he can bump, but he can't. Yeah, you got to. You no, know, he's fine. Push him. Leave. Just leave him short. I'm not going to worry about that that much. And I have marked you, but I have marked you for disorder. And Mike, did I take your casualty from your guy? I did. Good. Well enough. Did you, Mike, mark down um, Howard? I did. Okay. I got. Ha- uh, it's the Maryland detachment. Yep. yep. Howard's down to one. He's down to one. Oh my goodness. It's the Maryland detachments. <laughs> and I just realized these guys can shoot. Uh, no, they can't. No. Are they out of range? No. Yeah. No. Yeah, they're out of range. They're I'm range. sure. Let's see. Right? Nope. Wow. Yeah. Nope, wow. they're not. Okay. So, uh, given that that is a melee, uh, we've got four. Let's see any modifiers. These guys get. Okay, so we do this two different ways because there's two different die rolls. Four to four on the melee itself. No six. No hits. None for me. No hits either way, and one d six 
for a five or six for them sharpshooters. Oh, no, he can't shoot defensively. He can't. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Yes, he can. Belker, he you gets... get to roll a one. You get to roll a one d six to miss. Oh sure, yeah. I forgot. Nope. I gotta look that up. That bugs me. I don't think he gets to do that because I think the only guys that get to do that are those that are in direct support. Yes, the only guys that get to do that are in direct support, which is to say, I'm just gonna bug him like this. They gotta be sitting like this. I guess my only question to that is, mm -hmm. he moved away from my guys. Yeah. At I don't know. You know what? I, I guess it just, just just based off of where he was to start with before he moved into contact, it's just one of those that. flaky things. I got to look that up. I mean, I, I think that'd be one of those things that you take back to the designer and just say, well, yeah, or if, or if there's, if I can find the rule. Let's finish the turn. Velker, where are you at? Yeah. Um, what do you want to do? And I'm not one? arguing that point so much as, as just. You know, I think it's just one of those goofy rule uh, pieces as to yeah. just properly define what what support means. I agree. This, this part is here is, four to is obvious. This is four to four. Yeah, this here is clear support. Nothing. One hit. It's an irrelevant kill. And this is six to six to four. My six. Yeah, you're six. Two Ouch. hits. So we would have tracked one, two, three additional hits. Oh, no, it's in the subsequent turns. So this drops this drops Tarleton's command to exhaustion. He would now have to start checking for a collapse every turn. You can't move into contact. You can only shoot. So that greatly limits. And obviously, at this point, I would think Tarleton would begin to withdraw. It would seem to me. Um, but and it's, it's a good time to stop anyway, since we're this where we are. So Pickens, he was left with a three... Howard was left with a one. So if you had a little bit better die rolling at certain key points, you could easily have exhausted one of his divisions and potentially even collapsed it. Um, all right, so I'm going to say to both OJ and to Velker, having actually played through most of a game, what do you think of Ali and Bayonet? I like it. Velker? It I like it. It's just, it's just trying I... to get your head wrapped around, unwrapped around Luker. Sure. <laughs> yeah, I just, I, I think I'm a little biased because my die rolling was just so bad for like, the entire thing. <laughs> That's fair. But I, I think seeing, I, I like seeing how this evolved. Like I just got completely deflected on the right. I got some good progress on the left, and the center is just a mess. I, I think it's pretty good. I like it. Yeah, I. This is this, and this isn't truly a volley and bayonet game. It's little. It's at this very tight scale. Um, it's built around big, sweeping Napoleonic battles. The, the tragedy is, I suppose, is that my next scenario I'm going to build for it is Quatre Bras, which is yet another small Napoleonic battle um, that, we'll, that we'll see a lot more of and we'll have some experience of before I try to do some of the bigger ones because there's a lot. Yeah, this is a six by four table. So it's, it is, isn't particularly big. So there it is. Let's see. Just look at that. Look at that. Two hours. A little over, I think. Cause we did. Yeah. We started in the mid. Yeah. So about two and a half hours plus the rules teaching about two hours. Even we got through the battle of cow pens. History repeated itself. The British took it on the chin pretty hard from the dowdy Americans. Congratulations to Mike. Thanks for Velker for playing. Uh, what does the weekend look like? Well, Coming up on the weekend, I got two games, one earlier in the day, one later in the day. Earlier in the day, it's the Battle of Abu Klea for the men who would be kings. In the later part of the day, it is Memoir 44. Speaking of Memoir 44 and Commands and Colors, uh, Velker will be at that table, folks. So come play with the Velker. Um, the Velker character, fear his Commands and I'm Colors. I'm sure dice. you'll enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> 
come play with the Velker, and uh, we're going to be doing Memoir 44, Overlord Baston. So that will be good. We will then come back a week from Saturday with more Leipzig, but uh, we're getting, and then we'll see what we do on Wednesday. So we got a lot of great stuff coming up. Wouldn't surprise me at all if I busted this one out again, just to try it again and see how it plays and try some different strategies, because this is a lot of fun and a good way to learn a system that I think we might play some more of. Anyway, that's a lot of me talking. Uh, what are my times? You know, you would ask me that. My problem, Red, is that I can't flip and well read the... Uh, it. I can never quite tell if my sheet is on my time, which is central, or if it is Eastern time. But looking at my tabletop events, going to... I have a, I have a GM badge, you know. Mm. Going to... I, I know, I'm, I'm very scary. Wow. Uh, going to my... Do it. Yeah, you've got one. Yeah, I'm a GM. I'm underaged, but I'm a GM. You got a GM badge in Origins. It's, oh, that's illegal. Dad, that's, that's you're dead. exposing us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of those at Origins. Um, my events, he said, there's my schedule. schedule. According to this, and I'm really hoping this is, this is Central Time. Oh, Time Zone. There it is. Eastern Time... It's 11 a.m., so I'm. it's at 10. I'm starting at 10 o'clock on Saturday, the Battle of Abu Klea. Yeah, 10 o'clock, America, New York, UTC minus 5. I hope that's right. America, New York. Yeah. yeah. Makes sense. That's where Brant lives yes. in the Eastern time zone. Yeah. And then um, we're starting the Epic Battle of Baston from Memoir 44 at 6. So 10 and 6, 10 and 6. Uh, come on by and check them out. We'd love to have folks there. Um, thank you all so very much for coming and watching. Um, and in the meanwhile, as I always say, have a great rest of the week and take